welcome to Brawlhalla. What's up, Brawlhalla? And welcome to the second of three midseason micros as we lead up into the amazing midseason championship, the first in person event since the pandemic has started. I can't wait for this finally back in person it's gonna be so awesome we have the best european players ready today to fight each other just to give us a little taste of what it's all gonna be like and you got your buddies homie and taza i'm homie you're taza <laughs> <laughs> right, definitely. Yeah, yeah. so you're talking about how you can't wait for the mid-season uh, yeah. championship right well thank goodness <laughs> We have these mid-season micros to be able to watch the, yeah. the best players of each yeah, region yeah, exactly. going against each other it's, just beforehand. It's like the tortilla chips you get before your meal at right. the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with the with all the choices of dipping sal salsa and everything like that. So yes, it's, it's amazing, right? We, They're we, right. We get the four. We're getting four we get, different get, salsas four, yeah, with these yes. tortilla chips right yes. now. Yes, yes and those four perfect. different salsas are <laughs> in order of in order of PR. Power Ninja seven two nine. Yeah. Machete, Machete, Simple, and Blaze. And Blaze. Right. Those are the top four ranked players from Europe who are confirmed to be going to mm. the midseason championship, which, by the way, is going to be so awesome as we're doing more and more work uh, preparing for it and we're in the venue and stuff. And it, this is – this is the midseason championship is going to be unlike – Anything we've ever done before. Yeah. A, we, a whole we, new level. We've grown a lot since, it's taking since our a last lot, It's land. taking a lot of self-control here to not go into detail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but we will be going we, into we, detail we soon will. enough. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, but it, it's shaping up to be like incredible. Yeah. It's yeah. beyond our expectations. So it's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> So awesome. let's, let's have our tortilla chips here. We're yes. just, it's a bit of a more casual thing, this mid-season micro, you know, but, but for the players, they're competing. Every win that a player gets today, they'll be earning two hundred dollars. They right. are they earn money just for showing up, but every match is a money match for these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a round robin, four players. Each one's gonna fight three matchups, and uh, we're it's just gonna be fun. We're just gonna hang yeah, out. Yeah, and every single win, we'll get to see a little bit of a leaderboard to see who has been racking up the most cash compared to everybody yes. else, along with the wins. And it'll be really exciting to see. I'm so uh, interested in these matchups coming up because we said. We were talking about PR order, right? With yes. the Ninja Seven Two Nine. We set them in order. Yeah, we set yeah. them in order. Yeah, but it's like, uh, wh where are we? Where are we as the as the fans, commentators, and spectators? Oh, right? When like, anyone, what's the actual yeah, yeah, like, like, power what, rankings? Like, what okay. are we thinking? We with see the your data-driven analytics. We see your math-supported rankings. But what do you think? Who's going to come out on top? Who's got the best chance against? North America and South America in the midseason championship. Out of everybody Wait, that I see not here, to let, although Kyler Ellis oh. and Sire might, they might dominate. I'm, I'm not saying they oh, know. They right. won't. Yeah. But for this particular lineup, I'm thinking it's simple. That's what I'm thinking. And so, I wanna, and I, that's so fair for it, you to it, think it, that because it wasn't long ago before he was top three all day, every day, and the only person who was able to beat him is Akno, and Akno's not even coming to the midseason championship. Right. So. No one standing in his way, except maybe like Sandstorm and Luna. <laughs> well, and, 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 except, except for like, everybody in North America and also the three other players. And in Wes. This. Yes. And then, and then, and then but, meanwhile, we also have players in this micro that are – See it above him, right? The higher yes. power rankings, and that's Machete and Ninja Seven Two Nine. I think Ninja Seven Two. Oh, we're getting going. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So I, I, pro I appreciate production just let just just getting into it because because we're not about to get into it. We're, we're <laughs> we were going we to talk for thirty minutes. <laughs> so but, it's Machete versus Civil right now. Okay. All these matches are best of fives, of course. The competitive standard. Every match at the midseason championship will be best of five. Actually, except any crazy tiebreakers that need to happen. Because um, we're going to be doing round robin round robin pools in the midseason championship. And there could, you know, that's the, the potential for three-way ties. And those matches would be best of threes. Because... Time. <laughs> we're, yeah, <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. But, but we, <laughs> they should be best of ones, but, like, Ooh. there's no way we could do a best of one, right? Oh, Simple and Machete already going at it. It's so Simple, this is just like, you know, I, I want... I wonder if there's going to be a trend of me just picking the Bodvar player or every single micro because just like Java, I can't imagine Simple locking in any other character. Oh, man. <laughs> well, we've seen him lock in some other characters, but yeah. so, so far you're right. I guess Simple, ah, he is so he is so just the most consistent European Bodvar. 
the most consistent player in Europe at yeah. all, and he happens yes. to play both. Yeah, but. yeah. Swatter really has fought him for that for a while, but Simple's been around the longest and still holding that title of longest consistent boat bar. Oh, in, oh in, yeah, in by a long shot. Um, and, and Machete, I feel like playing Fate is a bit unusual for Machete. Uh, and he even threw away the Scythe there, which I would imagine is, is his more comfortable weapon of the two. Yeah. Uh, he favor He's clearly favoring the, uh, the orb because he had an option between the two of them. And maybe that's just because he's looking for a KO here. You know, Orb's got the consistent side light, side air, to, and that can that can score you some KOs. Uh, while the Scythe requires oh. a read for. Oh no, he's down two stocks. This is bad news. There, well, there's also this is bad there's, news. there's also the perspective of like we talked about this in the last micro. Machete could just be like, okay, here's the chance for me to try something that I really that's, want. For that's this true. Too. That's true. Yeah, right? This doesn't hasn't, affect power rankings. I don't you know, think they he might... hasn't picked Fate before. But I no, agree with you that has, it's very different from what he usually locks into. I was thinking, you know, I'm thinking he was, he was, he's big on more decks. He's, yeah. he was, he's like Scythe, he's Mr. Scythe over there mm -hmm. in, in Europe, I think. Ooh, okay. Neutral life, okay. Like And don't, you know, don't put it past him. He could still just come back from this, even though he's a stock behind. Here, check it out. Watch this. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That here, was here he great comes. patience for Machete to not fall off into that sword ground pound, because that could have got a lot worse. Okay. Oh, all nice. right. It does seem like Simple's got it all figured out. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. That's, Pretty good. All right. So, Ta you know, Taza did, you know, he talked, we hey. were talking about it before, uh, but Taza did. Think Simp Taza chose Simple. I, I I looked at this and I he was like, he picked his favorite Pokemon, yep. and it was it was. Simple. But y your favorite Pokemon's not on the screen yet, so we're not yet. You, you yeah, are, mine's you are, Ninja. You are still playing the part of Machete in this exchange, right? Like, I think. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, if I have to, last time we did this, we had four people, so yeah. one person can pick each, yeah, which yeah, wasn't yeah. really part of the plan, but it turned out to be really fun. <laughs> so uh, my second, we have to pick two each. My second oh. pick is Blaze. Okay. I know that forces you into. Oh, well, you know what? You were probably gonna pick. I win no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, but Jet is I simple. Have big, I have big. Between these two. Oh, I didn't consider that. Yeah. Well, we'll have we'll have the opportunity for every. It was matchup. gonna it was gonna happen eventually. Yeah, you yeah, exactly, well exactly, exactly. Um, Machete with the fate. So these are all best of fives. So there's a chance yeah. for him to go to a different Game character. But done. I want to see him go simple through with it. the uh, with the fate here because I think. Um, Orb is like the next weapon to be flavored in this year, I feel like, if that makes any sense. Like, if I look at the meta, I feel like Orb's the next next one on the plate. And I feel like players are looking at that and they're going, okay, I got to start getting my Orb ready. I think you're right. I mean, it seems like it's happening in the meta considering that we've had a lot of top players switching to Petra. Yeah, and, 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 and the few Blasters players there are are playing Reno. That's it's right. Like, it's like, it's like I think there's a, there's a, a good, good idea. It's a good weapon. Yeah. And, you know, the sideline side air, I think, is a big part of that. Um, it's also great in 2v2, I feel like, yeah. especially with the side air, because the side air hits so forward, well, just straight. Well, and if you start with the side light first, you have an hour and a half, basically, to set up for your teammate. You know what's while, coming. While they side light yeah, side yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, you know what's coming. Uh, and, and so far, Machete with the lead in game two, and it's been all off of the orb, too. So I really want to see how it well is. this works here. Simple's been going for way way more ground pounds than I'm ever used to see. He's doing. getting a little aggressive. It's yeah. a mid-season micro, dude. He's getting ready for the mid-season championship. It's, it's going to awesome. be the mid-season championship is going to be a big a big big deal. Fridazol's in the chat. Fridazol's going to be coming to mid-season championship. Fridazol. I know he's excited for the mid-season championship, but he but I don't think he understands the gravity of how awesome it's going <laughs> like, to be. You're like, you're like, like just get it's like, ready, it's like you're Friday excited. Zoll. We're going to have so much but fun at this But I can already tell campus. you there's no way you could be excited enough. You're not <laughs> excited like, enough. It's like you're not even close. Because you don't know yet. You don't know yet. It's cool. <laughs> Ooh, I simple. took some pictures over there, and I'm going to share them. I'm going to share the pictures from the venue. Like, the venue's, oh. not, the venue's not prepared. Ooh. For the mid-season championship, yeah, there's still signs that needs to go out. There's still all I've kinds seen, of stuff. I've but seen like, some of these just pictures. seeing the room yeah. will get you so stoked, dude. Yeah, oh my god, it's gonna be awesome. Godly's in the chat. What's up, Godly? Dude, we need to get Godly VIP in the chat. It's too bad Godly can't come to the mid-season championship. Ooh. Visa issues. It's tough traveling internationally right now, depending on what country you're from. We will miss you there, Godly. But. You will be in our hearts. And we know you're going to be at BCX, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah, it's all right, good. Yeah. Right. Oh, we'll we'll get excited for what's to come. Oh, and meanwhile, what's happening right now with Machete and Simple, super close. Machete on the scythe against Simple now. Simple even up with a stomp scoop. They're down to the um, last stock. But Taza. it's last stock, yeah. Yeah. And, and he, I'm feeling like Machete, you know, he can bring this to a 1-1. 
Side air, side light, unarmed. Okay, simple. Uh -oh. He's got no weapon, but simple does. He's got a sword coming up, I think. If he can get to it. Look at that spawn. Oh, Dude. Machete didn't ah. dash forward with. No, I don't, no, know, no, I don't no. know if dash forward anything would have reached. Simple yeah, he kind of just got here. away from him. Okay, both players in red. We're coming down to the final moment here. What's it going to be? Oh, D light side off the side, down sig, no ground pound. That's the wrong down special move that I was thinking here. Oh, Sunlight Cider takes him. Oh, man. Oh, 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 he can still make it back. He can still make it Even back. On demon. Oh, he threw the weapon into a dive kick. That was perfect. It totally stopped Machete. Oh. Oh, and even Simple knew what was coming and even drifted away from it, but but Machete changed his, his throw angle. Yeah, yeah. Machete. He was going to throw it down with some side momentum. Instead, he let it. He let the momentum die down and threw it directly diagonal. That it seems was, so um, subtle, but that was like a last-second switch up that got the KO. It, yeah. it wouldn't have worked yeah. without that. Yeah, and that, and that's uh, just this experience between these two players fighting against each other in championships all the time where like simple yeah. fades away before recovering enough out of hit stun that he threw the weapon in preparation for it. It was so yeah. sick. Um, we were just talking about this with production earlier. What, was it Simple Machete that are in like winners finals of the brawling tournament that's happening today? I don't remember if oh, that that's, was. Yeah, wait. They're, they're, they're both actually yeah, in. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like there is a brawl league tournament happening today. And look, guys, if you don't if you don't frequently check the Twitch directory for the game Brawlhalla, yeah, that's the link to really go to. It's like twitch.tv slash directory slash game slash Brawlhalla. That's the I'm way you want to be. Yeah. That's the place you want to be. Anyway, Brawl League's got a tournament going on right now, and I highly encourage you to open up a second tab and check that one out, too, because I think Machete and Simple are both... A top three. They're in <laughs> yeah, top three, yeah. 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 So we're at, right after they finish this, they're going to keep competing. Because I, I like, looked at that last play, and it was so impressive. I was like, wait, these players are... This is a player versus player matchup-specific thing that they're doing. Why is this happening? Oh, yeah, they're playing against each other in top three all the time. Maybe that... <laughs> oh, right, yeah, <laughs> for just, sure. Just, I wonder if Machete's using Fate in the Brawl League tournament. Ooh. Or he's like, Simple, I'm not going to give you the opportunity to practice interesting, again. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> because since we might meet in Grands later. <laughs> Machete's Legend Pool is definitely quite grand. Uh, uh, simple, like we said. Grand enough for Grand Finals? Grand, well, possibly. Uh, <laughs> simple uh, has picked other characters before, but it's like a special event. You yeah. Know? Like everybody yeah, yeah, goes, yeah. what? And they all look around to make sure we're <laughs> in the right reality. Uh, yeah. But it, it has happened. Machete, on the other hand, however, has... As you said, being known mostly for that scythe on that Mordex, has played other characters all the way up to the old Grim to now the Fate. So taking this lead That's here, right? In game three but Chente was one huge. of like the leading old Grim. He was the he was the first one that I think unironically he, picked the character. Right, exactly. Yeah, he kind of defined the the old Grim meta in Europe. People don't give enough credit for that. Oh, um, that patience was so good. Wait, any, so, ooh, any he dodged the weapon throw. He's he got would've... nothing left. I can't believe we caught him with the pivot. Gravity cancel down light. Okay, off the oh, side double. Side did. air could be huge. Stop. Oh, ah, last okay, time was okay, stop okay, scoop. Okay, that okay. one was just a good down air. Caught him cool. in the air. Machete evened this up right away in game two, though, and then took it. Let's see if he can uh, do the same here. Oh, the patience of the neutral. He hit the down air, and instead of nearing right away, he waited for the land to get the neutral light on the dodge. Simple, so clever. Oh, People now. in the chat asking, how long is this stream? Uh, five, two and a half hours-ish. Yeah. It's hard to say, because they're all best of fives, and a best of five could last twice as long Or we could have it. the NA micro, where it's just a bunch of 3 O's. It, it so definitely, that, yeah. yeah, it depends, but about two and a half hours, we're thinking. Yeah, so far, it's looking around that time frame, because this matchup is super close, and I... I I'm already expecting a game five here. Machete doesn't fall underneath the stage. That Nair simple. Okay, that was good. Using the Demon Island uh, uh, to uh, hit the recovery off the bottom of the stage, slide up the slant, and then get to the edge without getting caught by that downer. It was pretty huge. I thought, I thought he was done for. Oh, man. Machete's getting close to it. Whoa. Okay, he's in red, but don't don't count the boy out yet. Simple's looking for a down light cider. You can just see it in his eyes. You can see it. Oh, he's got no sword now. But that's, although that's, I, I think you know, Simple, I Simple's got even more kill power on the uh, on the hammer. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I had a little bit of deja vu from last game because last time you said that Simple took so long to get a weapon, but this one's a little different. Oh, the okay, stop. okay, okay, okay. It's anyone's game ball. here. Hold on, hold on. The, the final few moments. What's it gonna be? Machete's got him on the side. He used his dodge. He's got oh. no dodge. But oh, he throws his weapon that covers his recovery. Sidelight strong hit. Weapon thrown no. down. He went to pick He's it up. And Machete weapon. kicks him away. This Edge is Machete's guard. opportunity. There's a weapon on the side. He can use it to score the knockout on Simple. But Simple 
Michael just punches him away, grabs the weapon, and oh man, the next big hit is just gonna win this right now. What's it gonna be? They've come so far. It's coming down to the last hit. Ooh. They are desperately searching for oh, that final man, knockout. Oh, you don't want to put yourself out too far, this or else so, you serve themselves I, up for your I, knockout. But you gotta get a I hit. Really feel, it, what? I, I feel like this is so much harder for the, the scythe player oh. that Machete goes unarmed because he's more likely to find those downlines. Oh, Simple starts putting out down airs. The, Simple's what got weapon this? control, and that's huge right now. Look at this. He's three weapons so far, and he's maintaining weapon control. But Chet wow. doesn't care. He doesn't need a weapon. He just catches him with the unarmed recovery. Woo! There, there, was, a, there was a point in an exchange where Machete was doing such a great job avoiding all of the openings that Simple was going for. Simple yeah. was just chasing him down. But when he hit the side side air, it was, he was like, I'm going to need like four more of those. He throws the scythe away and he goes to unarmed. And he was like, that, that they were recovery and he was going to be able to done, get it. And yeah. it looked bad because Simple was like totally maintaining weapon control. Every mm -hmm. time a weapon spawned, he'd throw it, he'd grab it, he'd, he'd zone Machete out. It was just nothing he could do about it. That was a good game. Wow. And now yeah. it's 2 1 in favor of Machete. Really? Even though really he lost game difference. one, it hey. looked like all the momentum was in favor game of Simple. Game one was hugely in favor of Simple. And now, we've been, since we've been on Demon Island, uh, Simple's beginning to lead every single game, uh, getting that two stock to one lead. Yeah. And at the very end, Machete is just able to weapon starve him out. I know that twice in a row now you were like, Simple doesn't have a weapon. How is he yeah. going to get to the weapon? And then that's the spent 30 seconds right, doing right, that. Right, right, um, right, 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 right. Machete just doing so great. And now in the lead in game four. I'm starting to be thankful that you gave me Machete, right? Well, <laughs> we'll see when you get matched up with some of my picks, Ooh. you know? We'll see what happens then. Oh, man. Cider but right now, oh, okay. Double that's cider. just that's really it. good by Simple. There's no way Machete makes it back. G -G. Really quick thinking G -G -G -G. on the side stick, though. That's awesome. The, the highest chance that he had of making it back was using the dodge as fast as possible on the side stick, getting yeah. that travel time. but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. look at those ground pounds coming through from Machete. Uh, oh, the recovery, or from Simple. And the recovery stops Simple from getting that edge guard there. Weapon throw down, pick up side air. Wow, Simple went for that down air neutral light again. There's a lot of things that Simple's starting to do in this matchup against Machete that I'm not too used to seeing, but I like that I'm seeing it because he's getting so much success from it. Uh, I'm not used to Simple being the kind of player that weapon throw down, pick up again, pivot, attack. And yeah. he's been getting it a lot. <gasps> look at that. Cider hits. It's okay. That's a big leap for this simple. Is, it's looking like game, a game five. It's it's look look well, it's game uh, one all over again. But. Well, if game one, well, if that's true, then yeah. we're looking at a game five. And I guess we'll yeah. see. But don't, hey, look, don't, not, don't, don't count Machete out. That's when you get clowned on just like that. Mm. Just like that. Oh, and two side lights in a row from simple. Again, that extra bit of damage. Oh, he threw the orb away. He wants scythe. I think it's yeah. I think it's orb for for high damage, looking for the knockout, and scythe for build up damage, getting ready for the knockout. Yep, that that I absolutely agree with. Machete putting up that side light, trying to catch a landing, and he's trying to build up the damage. Side light. Oh, I'm oh, that's big. That's big. Dude, that he caught huge. that was that yeah, he caught the dodge in. I was about that was beautiful. ready to be like, why didn't you use the light hit of the side side light? Uh, he had the right re read ready to go. They were he, so low damage that the strong he, hit strong hit put him in the, the right hit. place. Yeah. yeah. And the neutral light comes afterwards. Such a great play from Machete. Now simple in red. But yeah. it's like Machete's catching up. He was down two stocks a second ago, let's right. remember. Oh, Oh, sword picked up and he dashed through. He got side aired on the cross up and that weapon throw forward. Is that, oh, Machete cleverly uh, avoiding the side air from the scythe. He didn't have a weapon to challenge it. I have to remember that these decisions, these decisions are being made around the fact that he has one stock left. I was like, why didn't he go for that edge guard? Well, because if he did and lost the stock, the game was over. <laughs> Simple uh, is with this hammer. Oh, side air hits, weapon throw hits. Oh, is it? Okay, I thought he was going to go for that recovery, but no, stop side air. That's it. Simple brings the game five. Two, Will man. we go to Demon Island for a fourth time? Is that, well, that is a natural game five place, but no, Benchette banned it out, so no. That's your <laughs> answer. I, Miami I, Dome, I, dude, that's the right I, place. That's all the, right. Settle it on the dome. I'm a little surprised because I'm like, your two wins were from Demon Island, but maybe after that game, you're just like, oh, uh, Simple figured it out. I'm done. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, done yeah, yeah. Don't push your luck. Two. So this is it now, game five. 
how exciting. Game Ooh. five. We, we did, I don't, did we get a single game five in the NA micros? I think, I we, I think we got to game four, but most of the time, yeah, we, yeah we, it, was, it was a lot of 3 0. So Machete and Simple opening it up already, showing how close the matchup is between the two of them. And uh, Machete not able to find. Uh, Oh, uh, a good opening just yet. Side light, D light's not going to be doing five. too much. Side air comes through. And Simple falls to the down air, hits the nair. Machete gets hit by the side air. Machete falls down with the side air and tries to get it again. And Simple putting out too much with the sword here. Dial, down light, down air, all that stuff. And now coming through, he's not going to switch over the hammer just yet. And Machete, despite our belief with the scythe uh, being the damage builder tool, is really going open with the orb here in game number five and bringing Simple into orange. Both players in orange now, although Machete might be scoring a knockout right now. Hold on, don't count your chickens before they hatch or whatever, the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All of those are true in some sense. Don't count the chicken <laughs> eggs before they're chickens. Or, yeah, it's a good saying when you yeah. say it right. Uh, simple wit. Oh, man, is he going to go? I'm wondering what Machete's option here is for the knockout. On the fate, it's been the most difficult thing for him to do is to get those consistent knockouts where it's simple on the hammer. I mean, you could just name any one of those aerials and you'll get it. But I guess Orb Side Air, with fate's force being as high as it is, will seal the deal there on the right side of the stage. Uh, weapon spawn up on the top of the stage, tries to get a stomp, falls to the side air. Simple taking so much damage. What? Nice oh, neutral what sig. A sick read. Okay, Huge. Simple. Dude, he just went for it. Yeah, there was no way he could have known that would land. Land. That's certainly not true. Uh, there were maybe eight other options that they could have done that where that wouldn't have landed. Simple somehow got it right. My goodness. Yeah, simple. That's just phenomenal. Machete really strike it back after that. He's not happy they got hit by that because this has been almost all Machete damage after that. Four yeah, good he's got a pretty there. big lead. And this is game five, dude. Machete might be running away with this. And he stuck with the fate the whole time. Oh, this fate, may fate maybe is just the new, the new. Oh, oh, so oh good. that was a sick, sick read. He He's looking off? for the finisher right that's here. It. That does it. Oh, that's almost a full stop. I really love how he did that too. He landed with the side air and then immediately side lighted in case the side air missed to catch the landing with the side light. Simple yeah. uh, really just got completely edge guarded there from Machete. Machete now up a whole stock. Uh, simple with the hammer. Oh, falls down. Maybe trying to stop. Did it down here instead. And Machete with even more damage. Whoa. Okay, what are the chances that Simple actually does so much damage, so one-sided for so long that he, like, evens up this and... 43%. And <laughs> that, that's, that's a pretty that's, high that's, percentage. That's, what that, I'm that's high for what you what, when, uh, what, just described. When you, when you pitched it, it was already happening, and so the percentage, like, went up a lot. Was, but, like, yeah. I'm well, like, I, 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 look, here we go. Dude, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> I was like, uh, it was. I don't think Machete landed one hit since I brought up yeah, that you brought hypothetical. Up, you brought, before you brought up the hypothetical, I was thinking more around like seven. <laughs> but, then, but then you decided to talk about it. Uh oh, but is it slipping away? Simple. Uh, now one to one. He really cleaned up that stock. Dodges out the sideline, but no, he was too late on the sideline punish. Okay, that's some damage. Oh, he got the dodge away. Machete catches him with the nair. Real back and forth right now. That's a great dodge, and that time Simple didn't miss the punish off of dodging his attack. Uh, gets the D-Light Cider, but that is some good damage coming in from the scythe. And now he's on that weapon that you said he wants to knock out with, the orb. That's right. Yeah, he's right in position for it. Simple's getting to the amount of health that would you know, a side light cider could just Ooh. knock out with. He, oh yeah, he's definitely, he's in knockout range. Oh yeah, he's hurt. He's in knockout range. He's basically only gonna but be looking for neutralites. Yeah, he's playing it so safe. Neutralites theirs, and then if Machete oh, comes he, through. The, oh, we're on Miami, starts? Miami knows a very small stage, for and the, oh, Simple yeah, could take him out with a lot of. That's, <gasps> oh, it's so close, he's oh, all Oh, Machete's jumps. one hit away. He's got weapon control. This is looking really good for Machete. How does Simple get back to the stage here? Oh, he side lights, okay. Oh, that was perfect, dude. Sword, that he that's did, not Hammer, though. Ah, that, he misses the neutral. Oh, that's, it. that's not Hammer, though. That's not, that's not Hammer, though, he says. Oh. Machete wins it in game five. Down to the last hit. That was so close. Really, really close. And that second stock was making me think Simple was going to take it all back. But, man, Machete really showing uh, just an amazing skill. And after losing a stock where I'm like, oh, my God, surely he's decimated. Surely. No, he comes back. And he just he plays as if like it didn't even happen. Uh, does <laughs> so well. It, it, it's like there was a, there was that stock where he basically got zero to death, came back, and then he was able to hit like 
three orb side light siders and the four orb nares, and then he was just back in the game and ends up winning it. So what an amazing job there at Miami Dome. And I was a little surprised by the Demon Island ban after his two wins were there, but no, Miami Dome, as you said, settled it there. And he, he takes Miami the first Dome, game. Miami Dome, to me, is the most ideal place to settle a grudge. You know, interesting. If you're like playing with your, but you might think small brawl haven. You might think small like if I feel you're like just Brawlhaven like is actually too uh, agreeable. <laughs> it's a like, too, like, yeah. like brawl haven is like okay, everybody, they must be really happy with each other as friends right now <laughs> if they're going to brawl haven. Miami <laughs> Dome is where you settle it, dude. Which one of us is better? That's where you go to to, yeah. to Miami Dome. Tell your friends, you'll you'll get there. Well, today Let Machete proving that over simple. Skip forward to this. Who's who's coming up next? <gasps> The Ninja 729 and Blaze. So oh, this is like this is you. This is my. Yeah, 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 this right. works great because after this, then it's we'll it's always it's have players yeah. going against each yeah, other yeah, that we yeah. chose. Okay, the Ninja 729 and Blaze. That's gonna be really, really exciting. Why only four people in this tournament? Well, it's not a tournament, you know. It's just a mid-season. It's an appetizer before the mid-season championship. Yeah, these are players that these you're gonna be seeing in the mid-season championship. The top European players that you'll be seeing yeah. in the mid-season championship, which is coming up in just two more weekends. Yeah, and that's it, so close. And we get to see here, it's a, it's a little sparse right now because we only had one game, but how it works is every single win, they get $200, and they move up on that bracket, and we get to see yeah. who's going to be able to be overall yeah. winner from this round robin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, But Machete just having that win over Simple means that he got an extra 200 bucks going along with Boom, just being in this. Dude, right, yeah, like that. hey, that's some spending money when he when he comes over to – I mean, that's – that's a significant amount of spending money. It's pretty he'll, good. <laughs> he'll be able to take some players out to lunch, right? Yeah. That's surely what you're going to do with the money, right? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see who gets the next, we'll uh, next chunk of change here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, one's, next one's coming up. Okay, real quick. I want to address some people in chat. This is not a dev stream, but just real quick. How many opportunities do I get to just talk to everybody uh, who's invested in the community? Um the the gray out, 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 of, out of when you're out of jumps, that's currently an experimental. I see yeah. a lot of people like, don't remove it. Why are you going to remove it? We're not going to remove it. In fact, it's pretty clear just from all the feedback that it's an important state. Even though the jump cloud does give you that information mm -hmm. already, having a persistent state is clearly important to a lot of players. Trouble is, the gray out, you can't see on a black color swap. You can't see if your monitor colors aren't like the perfect setting. Um, it is a subtle so, change. So yeah. what we learned from that, and that's why we did an experimental, is that we're going to make it a more ob like we're going to make a cooler, more obvious effect for you are currently out of jumps. Not like the sweat beads where you're out of jumps and a dodge, right? So we're going to do that. And then what else did I see? There was another one. Oh, the out of jumps. There's no option to disable the out of jumps recovery, which is a new feature that was added on Android. Which is news to me. We're going to fix that one too. So I will I don't know we'll figure it out, but yeah, that's a that's a change to the default control scheme for Android and uh we we'll take care of that. Yeah. All right. On to the next one. The Ninja 729 versus Blaze happening right now. And, dude, is it just us who doesn't have game sounds? Or is the whole... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we have, we have Blaze, who has been playing Bryn forever. And then the Ninja 729, who has been repping the cannon in EU since the weapon was released, right? Like, I, in fact, I can't... I'm sure Ninja was playing competitively before Cannon was released, but I definitely don't remember what he played <laughs> before the Cannon was released. Right? I only know the Ninja <laughs> 729 as the Syndra god. Yeah, like, like, like that's like the his whole thing. Syndra came out, all of a sudden the Ninja 729 was born. <laughs> like that, that, that's what happened. And now and now he's been playing competitively with it ever since. Occasionally we get a little bit of the jolly. And he's the guy. I mean, uh, he defined. Ooh, he like defined. That. He made that up. That yep. He was the first Sidra to, to pivot off the corner and then neutral sick back to the stage. Honestly. No, he, he defined a lot of the meta with, with Cannon, I think. And even though, you know, uh, Cannon's gone through a lot of changes over the years, and then Ninja 729 stuck with, all of uh, them. Stuck with yeah. it through, through, through everything. Yeah. Oh man! Dude, and okay, already taking. And I will stay. You know what? I'm excited to finally like. Wait, cause I, I I've yet to sit down with the Ninja 729 in person. And mid when mid season comes down, I'm gonna be like, you pick the fire extinguisher because it looks like a cannon, don't you? I've been saying this every time. That Do I've we have confirmation? Him. I don't. I don't. I don't want to get confirmation until I sit with them and be like, hey, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we need like a really like exclusive interview with the Ninja 729. <laughs> it's like, it's like, What's so, up with your cannon, bro? Like, why, why did what, you choose that? Why sword? did you choose the fire extinguisher? Well, because it looks like the cannon. <laughs> I think so. I, I, I think you're I right. I think it contributes it's to the most cannon looking and we, sword. And we haven't seen it yet, but this is something that I know you love to highlight every. 
times on the screen. The Zeus throws. I think it like it visually helps him. I'm gonna freak out when he does another Zeus throw. But I yeah. think I think it visually helps him set it up because it looks so similar to the cannon. Oh. That's what I think the reason is. I really do. And Could so, be. So I, I might be being too technical about it. Anyways, plays. <laughs> he takes the stock and evens it up. But I love watching the just time play because he's so particular uh, with what legend he plays, what weapons he uses, and his play style oh. as well. Yeah, the Zeus throws. That's a funny thing. I don't know where the name Zeus, Zeus throw came from. I feel like it just happened. Yeah. And, well, we needed an identifier for it, so that's that's how it works, I yeah. guess. Um, but then you just said, look, I'll let you know when it happens. You don't know what a Zeus throw is. I'll definitely let you know as soon as it happens. It's just barely over the edge. He still, like, that was a Zeus. I mean, is. there was no player down there. But, but that he was, did it. The, it's like, it's like, it's a he uses his forward momentum to throw it directly downward and it still carries some of that forward momentum. And that turns out to be such a great edge guard angle when you've got a wide weapon like cannon, he, it, like lance, like hammer, there's there's options. And what's so wild about it for me is that he remains as one of the few players that still is the best and only ones really utilizing it all the time. Um, uh oh, Blaze is gonna make him pay for that one. Yeah, that wow. was so flawless by Blaze, holy cow. All right, well, the Ninja 729, he's still pretty healthy with this last stock coming Ooh, in. He tried to put out an attack while the weapon throw is still active, and he got stuffed. That's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it it's it looks effect. worse than it is, but it, it's a little it embarrassing. It sounded so painful. It's, it's one damage, it's one, one or two damage, that but it's, been, it's embarrassing. Effects, everyone's going to remember that. <laughs> oh, weapon throw up. Goes back, gets the down air on the cannon. Does for a uh, second Blaze down air. Blaze is in air. trouble now. Machete's, I mean, uh, not Machete. The Ninja 729's got so much room Whoa, to work with he here. he slipped right by that axe side light. Uh, Blaze gets the side light in oh, air. Oh, no. Oh, pivots the down light in the, the wrong Blaze, direction. Actually, Blaze could just catch up from this. He's already caught up. Oh, no! <laughs> they're, just, they're just so lucky that he did not oh. get knocked out. That by that, because it was huge. gravity canceled up yeah. there. It was. It had. It had everything it needed to to knock out. Oh, he got the neutral light on the landing. The Ninja Seven Two Nine thought a stair was gonna come through, but Blaze lands on the ground, gets the neutral light, and now with the spear, it's a little tougher here. Catching it with the down light is this a lot is, dude, harder. Dude, Blaze than the sword. thrives on these situations. I'm thinking, even though it's not even surprising that Blaze could just turn this all around. All right, even though even though he was down out. by a full stock. Oh, that's it. Oh my God. Look, again, I want to say. I'm not even that surprised. Wow. Blaze is one of the most clutch players in the game. Yeah. Even though even though his ranking so he's not always in the top 3, but he is I like mean He's PR7. He's PR7. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's clearly top he's, he's eight. He's a yeah. top eight player in Europe. But uh, I do get what you're saying when it when it comes from, like, looking at... How uh, many times has he bailed Akno out in the oh, big in the most goodness. difficult 1v2 we've ever seen? And, and we're always like, there's no way. And he still manages to do it. So when he was down there, when once he got Ninja 729 to one stock, even though he was in red, I was like, Two, it wouldn't be that one, crazy one. for Blaze to just not get hit again and slowly diminish Ninja 729. 729 until he can Absolutely. knock him out with a side air. Yeah, uh, and that's that's Blaze. That's his whole thing, man. He does th that so much. And that win made the Ninja 729 feel like he needs a little bit more armor going through over to, uh, oh. to Onyx here. With well, the cannon. this is I, we've seen him do very well with the Onyx. Yeah. And you're right. At, at the least, it's a it's a cannon with more armor since. Since Ooh. Onyx is made of rocks. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a rock. It's a, it's a stone. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that was so good. He anticipated the side air coming from oh, the he, cannon. He still hasn't landed. He has one jump and a dodge. <laughs> like, like, he, okay. Oh, he finally, this is, this that, is, was, that was a good 20 seconds that he could not touch the ground. The armor coming in strong there. But oh, Blaze. That was, the oh. most, that was so aggressive. He did two weapon throws. Ninja managed to dodge both of them. And then Blaze even came in with the gravity cancel down light. Still couldn't catch him. All right. Let's see if that defense that uh, really made a difference. I think it already did. Well, it, it would have made an even bigger one had if he gets prevented back that and, then, and then takes the stock. Right? Yeah. But now we're at like, okay, if he was Sidra, he was he was gone 40 seconds ago, I feel like. I mean, the game hasn't even been that long. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I, I, but it feels like a long time ago, Blaze would have been in the lead. Let's see if he can get back to the stage and get a weapon. Blaze has been doing so good at stopping him from landing. Like, my goodness. Finally, he gets to the stage and gets some damage here, but he's, he's already out of jumps. I think that's just it. <laughs> he never touched. Dude. Ground pound hits and Blaze. he falls. Blaze okay, is so to, put to help put this in perspective, this is the lowest ranked of the four players. Yes, going against the highest. Defeating the highest ranked. Yep. Not defeating. No one's been defeated yet. He's but it's three to stocks defeat. to one. Yeah, I have yeah. to say it.
Uh, that, this is a fantastic showing from Blaze, and the switch over to the Onyx has been looking at like even even more difficult here after what he did with the Sidra in game number one. Weapon throw forward. He's trying to take that first stock of game two, and then D-Light dodges the weapon throw down and gets the hit. Doesn't get the double side light, but guess what? Unpunished. He's working on a three stock. Don't Sider. three stock of Blaze. Don't three stock of oh, dude. So this close. is you guys are friends. You're, you're... Neutral light hits. Oh, oh my gosh, he's gonna three stock him. Side light. He's gonna three stock I'm him. I'm surprised, Blaze. I keep thinking, go for Nair on the spear, but he never does. Oh, Insider hits. Thank goodness. And Blaze is, is, no three stock. is doing so fantastic with the spear uh, that I guess it doesn't matter. A lot of that ground game coming out so great. Down air catches him, dash jumping. D light down air. Okay, Ninja 729 could make the stocks even, but uh, he's gotta keep Blaze off stage for the rest of this game, basically. Oh, Cider okay. hits. But it wasn't a three stock though, yeah. everybody. Yeah. So yeah. chill out. You know? uh, it wasn't even it wasn't even a three stock. It was it over Okay, <laughs> okay. It was almost three hundred more damage in Blaze's favor that though. Was okay, so <laughs> nearly learned, twice as much damage. We learned that you have a lot of defense, you can take a lot of damage. Yes, we we, we know this. Yes. <laughs> but but it's you not. need to be hitting them as well. And then it is back, back to Sidra. Ninja yeah. seventy nine is going back to Sidra. I like it. Yeah, it's PR4 versus PR7. I, I love how we're watching these matchups where both of the players that we've picked are going head to head, and the player that we didn't pick originally is just <laughs> destroying the other. We're just like, eh, works for I me. Know, <laughs> I know, I know. I drew on this whiteboard. I said Ninja will win. And, um, oh, that was scary for the Ninja opening up here in game three on Brawl Haven. Um, if if Blaze wins this, I'm going to change the whiteboard oh, real quick. Side light, side light, side air coming from Blaze, getting that read. That Nair comes through, but he doesn't drift with with it, um, and the Ninja 729 is getting some good damage on the sword. Uh, Blaze fantastic though on the spear. Uh, let's see, recovery does get whiff. Well, let's see, what, what is he gonna hit here? Falling down with that weapon spot, he's gonna switch over to the cannon here. Anchor to reposition, Blaze oh. is really good at punishing that. Yeah, yeah, he went right to where it was going to end and came in there with the pogo, but just slightly off position. Or really, I don't think he could have got there in time no matter what. And now Ninja 729's got Blaze in knockout range. He could score right here. He's looking for the down air. The down air, down light recovery would have gotten it done there, but the recovery alone did not. Oh, Cider hits. Well, now Dodge. it's anybody's stock here. Okay, that side stick was crazy. It's a bit of a prayer, yeah. yeah. He's, just, he's hoping for the best on that one. But he didn't get punished for it. And I think that's the art of using signatures, is using them in a way where yeah. you're not going to get punished for it. And, you know, if it lands, well, yeah, it's going to knock out. The worst case scenario, it misses, and we go back to playing the game, right? Like, right. It's like Oh, Ninja 729 uses dodge, so Blaze is getting real aggressive what? on the. Oh! Okay, my brain just he barely processed that. He recovered over the corner. He recovery stage spiked him into the yeah. corner, and he went like hard diagonal. Left. It was optimal, really. It was I can't, great, great play by Blaze. Wow, that had to have been. That had to have been the closest, like, almost not stage spike. Yeah. Wow, my brain hurts. I'm like my brain that. hurts. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I mean that. Okay, it's two stocks to two. Awesome stage spike coming out from from Blaze, and now it is uh, neutral light hitting here. Down light getting the read through. Man, Blaze's ground game against the Ninja oh, doesn't even matter. The recovery, when he takes the that would have just knocked him out. Blaze, Zeus throw. That was oh. it. A Zeus throw alert. Oh no! Uh, but he misspaces the cannonball. Yeah, just a little bit low. He really wanted that cannonball as low to the ground as possible. Just a little too low. No! He wake up down lights off the weapon throw, interrupting the neutral sink. Blaze catching him by surprise. Oh, nice. that was good. That was what good. What an amazing response. Well, Blaze, to the I mean, that pound. ground pound was a little silly from Blaze. Uh, although I could imagine it totally forcing. Ooh. But oh! Gets the recovery afterwards. You know, Blaze's play style works so well against Sidra Neutral Stick. He just he sidelighted right underneath the cannonball. And by the time he gets to the end yeah. of the move, the move hits and Sidra's still stuck in the move. Anchor gets punished by a recovery. Neutral light doesn't catch him. Oh, I falling with that down air instead of a cider there. Didn't work out. And the recovery hits and then Ninja 729 on the verge of getting 3-0'd could bring this back. This is a lot closer than game two. Oh, Dude, someone, someone, someone wagered a hundred thousand channel voids on Blaze at this one. Jeez. What? That, what's the what's the rate? Wait, what's the percentage we did too? That'd be interesting to see. I'm, 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 I don't oh, know. I don't know. Man. 
But that's a lot of chat. That's points. gonna be a huge payout if he gets it, I feel like, because the 729 uh, was definitely my favorite going into this matchup. Blaze dodges the weapon throw. Now in orange. Oh, but we can't call it over yet. Blaze has to win this game three. Uh, I really do feel like he has to win game three. I, I, I'm getting one of those vibes where it's like we're going to be going all the way. If if he doesn't win it right here and now, the Ninja 729 is fighting back pretty hard. Sidelight gets him. D-Light recovery. One more, and that's it. Weapon throws yeah. up. He's keeping him, he's keeping him all And he needs stars. this. Blaze, is, Blaze will just win the whole set if he wins this game right yeah, now. Yeah. So the Ninja 729 has got to take him out. And this could be it right here. We're looking at it. Oh. He's one hit away. He needs it so bad. But Blaze thrives off of these, like, I can't get hit one more time situations. Yep, he seems yep. to, he's so ah. good at that. Okay. Okay, the set's still alive. The Ninja 729's in it. He takes his first game in the set. Blaze still just one game away from winning the entire set. Please. Yeah, that side air, pretty good. Uh, Brawl Haven, when I looked at that, I was thinking the problems that the Ninja 729 were having would be uh, increased because the blast zones were so close. Not yeah. at all. It did not It did not matter. Uh, he was able to bring that back pretty well. And now I think we're going back to Mammoth. I wasn't totally positive, but no. Okay, no, great, great hall. This, this is not Much Mammoth at all. Much greater than this Mammoth. Is, uh, this is actually an unusual pick for Europe in general. I feel like <laughs> this is just being on this stage here. Uh, what a mix-up coming out here from, from Blaze after that loss. But yeah, Blaze does have the advantage of steering the Ninja 729 to whatever stages he wants after every loss here because he's up 2-0. So uh, we'll see how that plays yeah. out. Yeah. Now this stage in particular is one of the one of the largest uh, woo, one of the largest blast zones of all the stages, right? Yes. Tall ceiling, far away walls. Enormous ceiling. The, the, the walls could seem closer if you're at the edge of the platform but they're pretty far away from the actual stage, yeah. for sure. Uh, no, definitely no Miami Dome energy here when it comes to the blast yeah. zones on the sides. Blaze gets him with the neutral stick and Downer comes through. And this is a pretty big deal for the Ninja 729 that I think about it because he's not really uh, an advocate for uh, D-Light Nair as a knockout move for Cannon. He likes to just take people off the side of the stage and Zeus throw to end the stocks, right? So the ceiling doesn't really matter. I've seen, dude, I've seen a criminally low amount of Zeus throws from the Ninja 729. This is, this is, that's his whole thing. Oh, okay. That was also kind of his thing too. I remember that a lot. Oh, I like that movement. Neutral stick comes through to that recovery. Not even enough. Not even that's enough. That's great haul. And look at Blaze. Small look Brawl Haven, that would have knocked out. For Small Brawl Haven. Sure. I think any other stage, actually, that would have knocked out. No, I mean, Neutral Light's coming close to knocking out there, but D-Light Recovery can't take him off the top. Weapon throw comes down. Blaze, is he going to take the lead off of this? Uh, Spear Recovery wouldn't be able to get the stock, but it would get some good damage. Oh, Miss Space is the side air. They're both one hit. That's, there it is. That's the one hit. There we go. That's the one hit he needed. Takes him off the top. Ninja 729 in the lead. We get, we get, I love how many times we're getting that stuff recovery effect at the very end of the weapon throw. Uh, nice side air, and there we go. I mean, you were you were right on the money with the one hit. <laughs> one hit. One hit each. Evenly distributed. These guys are really, they're keeping it really close here. Yeah, wow. And it, what, what an interesting development coming off of Simple Machete that also was like last stock game five. Blaze and the Ninja 729 are looking to be that way too. Down light does not hit. Sidelight comes through and down airs him off the side of the stage. Weapon throw keeps him safe. Um, but that down light hits him out of the way from that side air. And that anchor, that's not going to be hitting anybody anytime soon. But the Ninja 729 has stopped Blaze from going off stage with any ground pounds because of those weapon throws up that are covering his head. Uh, and, uh, oh, I say that, but Blaze with that creativity. Yeah. Man, this has just been blow for blow the whole time. If you look at, like, the colors of their health bars there, they're almost always the same. Oh. Yeah, down air hits, snares are coming through. That's not going to knock out. Yeah, they've kept it so close this entire game. That I think we're getting to that. It's now one hit for the Ninja 729. I don't know about Blaze. <laughs> Blaze is getting there. Ooh, X down light, not knocking off the top. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. I like that idea from Blaze. You know, few people ever pound the ground with a ground pound. That's That was that seemed like a good play. Sidelight and air. He's too damaged for Whoa. Sidelight and air to knock Home out. Home run swing. Home run swing on Great Hall, no less. <laughs> the the D-light off right. the top. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just making sure that the massive amount of damage has to be dealt before they can take him off. And they're just not, not being able to get him off the side of the stage. Blaze makes it back. Uh, let's see, can Ninja 729? No, he can't even dare stare him. Oh, that's huge. 
It's like those little victories as an axe player. At, when you when you are up a stock, high damage, and you hit satellite and air, you're like, yes, that is the exact kind of thing that I'm looking for. Oh, he stares him off the side of the stage, too. Daylight Recovery takes him off the top, though, and now it's one to one. Can the Ninja 79 bring this to a game five? He must. He, ha he has to. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, Blaze just wins. And that's, you know, come on, the Ninja 79. I already said the Ninja 79 will win. Yeah. And I don't want to be wrong. Ooh. So, you know. This could well, be maybe I much, shouldn't have said this, that so deterministically. This, this could be a much closer uh, micro than last week's. If uh, it, it already is, I mean, like, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, but I'm just thinking of like scoreline alone. I'm I'm like I don't know if anyone's going to be going 3-0 in this one. We'll see. Uh, it's really close right now. They just have tonight just got some great cannon strings. Nice job with the recovery. Oh, the Nair so close to hitting him towards the top, but Blaze stabilizes the down line. Several down lines are coming through. Oh no, dodge, but he gets away. Oh, nice job holding that weapon throw for a while. Does he pick the spear up again? He does, but he's just jumping all the around. The movement, him. Ninja 79's movement as he is like one hit away from being knocked out is so flawless right now. Flawless. Oh. Wait, he's gonna win this. I have, I have, I have total faith. It is feeling that way. I have total faith. Side air's coming through. Weapon throw comes down. Cannonball oh. barely misses. Blaze oh. dodges his place, but he can't get away from the neutral light. Finish him. Oh, the ground oh, I can't they're, believe they, Blaze are, went are for they a just return. They're just going, they're going ground pounds <laughs> off the side. No, no, no. But now he's got to really oh, be careful. Blaze has so the, crazy. Uh, the, the craziest thing Blaze could do here is bring down Sig. No, it's not, it, it's not going to happen. He can't even make it back. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, oh no. Back to recovery. Oh, come on, Ninja. Come uh, on, come on, come on. He puts on a ground pound. Blaze, you're crazy. I feel like that's, that's, it, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Game five. We're going to game five. We're going to get everybody relaxed. We're going to game five. 704 oh. damage to 607 in a singles game. That is how damaging that game was. <laughs> that, that was and oh, the damage yeah. for engagement was Those the are same. Those 2v2 numbers. Oh, my goodness. You could tell. We talk about great blazes in 2v2 as well. That's why. Oh, man. Graphs are absolutely nuts. Look at that. Ninja 17 are really extended he brought it back. That, that last stop. Yeah, it was looking oh. bad. And then he he, you know? he just kept it going. What do you know? Where do you take him game five? What do you got Dude, to you prove? settle it <laughs> in the dome. This is like... They know, they know. It's just a rule of Brawlhalla at this point. Blaze, uh... Oh! No, okay, Cannonball does not hit. And everybody counted, everybody was counting into 729 out after Blaze won the first two games, but you know what? He's still in it. Ooh. Uh, although, <laughs> still don't count him out, okay? He's, he's, he's... Oh! Oh, Cider hits him while he's low on jumps. Blaze knew that, he wanted to land him with a neutral sig. Neutral light catches him picking up the weapon again. That's not where you want that weapon throw to go. <laughs> what? A, uh, that was such a sick move. Oh my gosh. That, Blaze. That is awesome. Yeah. He, he, he crossed him up with an axe down line. That was awesome. <laughs> or the counter cross up, I guess, because uh, Ninja 7 tonight was trying to go I've with the never done there. That. I've never even thought of doing uh, that. And that and that those are the kind of reversals that you would expect from like blasters recovery, sword recovery, spear recovery. No one's gonna look at Axe and think that you could do that, but Axe down like that's the move. And that Blaze doing that was so sick. And now it's three stocks of two. And it's game five. Oh man, for Ninja to lose now after taking it to game five would be. Oh! oh! But it's not gonna happen. Don't even worry about it. The anger. Ninja 729. Kind of mid dive kick too. Blaze had nowhere to go in that situation. Yeah, that was really good. He went out there. He's like, can I get an edge guard going? And then he ended up. He let. He let Blaze pass him, and pivoted with that gravity kick. It's kind of returning the favor of clean. what happened with the X down. That was a clean punish. Like like zone outway too. Just said in the chat. That was a clean punish. Ooh, side light nair recovery. Whoa. Okay. Ninja 729 really going up towards the top of the stage again. Gravity cancel silence from Blaze from the hip, but all oh, backswing of the recovery on Axe. Sometimes it's all you need. Ninja 729, now one stock. Oh, this is bad news. Okay, because Blaze has still got plenty of health left on his second stock. But maybe Ninja can take him out without taking too much damage. Blaze not falling for that neutral signature, not falling for the weapon throws upward. He's trying to switch to a sword right now. Hopefully that doesn't get him hurt. No, actually, not even a little bit. Whoa. And he still hasn't taken any damage. Ninja Whoa. 729 is so on top of it, this stock. Oh, oh my goodness. Now more. Blaze disarmed. But here comes the axe. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Sidelight Nair doesn't get the down light. Oh, OK, another Sidelight Nair. That's so much damage. And Blaze can get one more. Down here comes through. Nah, Blaze, Nair Ninja, whiffs, Ninja was so clean this whole stock. But Blaze, as soon as he got the axe, he really still. Oh, no. 
There was a clash. Blaze caught him with the very beginning of, of a there. move as he was, yeah. yeah On there. the same frame, he hit Blaze and got hit by Blaze. And that sent Blaze. That was. It interrupted Blaze's. That was. These yeah, are like that was Axe, crazy. Axe versus Citrus specific tech. It's over. It's, it's over. It's over. Blaze wins. Oh, my God. Wow. Blaze with what What an amazing win. There was Both the a Axe, lot happened there. The Axe down light off the top. Incredible. Uh, then the the Citra down stick with the anchor off the right. Also amazing. And then Blaze uh, canceling Dude, the anchor. damage with Axe. With Axe Nair to save himself what would have certainly been his stock going away. Blaze playing around specifically Sidra so well with the Bryn and making a considerable upset, right? PR7 versus... That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 that's a cool upset. I mean, I was wrong, you know. Can we zoom? Is oh, there zoom? Oh, the, well, the, you'll well, see. Yeah. I mean, you get it. There, they, they, we see, mid season Mike right there. Photos put it down there. The ninja said, will win. I thought ninja would yeah. win. But, but we've got. Oh, not. here it goes. Whoop, whoop. There I am. Yeah. And there it is. So that, as you can see, that's clearly a depiction of me. Um, and oh. I was wrong. So what? You know, what are you gonna do? I'm wondering. <laughs> so we, we we're now in a state where we have it's one zero for Blaze and Machete. So the players that we picked at the beginning of the show are just struggling, right? So simple. Oh yeah. Simple Luckily, decision. we picked two characters yeah, we got each. Two, two this players time. each. Um, I'm I. The results last time for North America and the micro worked out pretty nicely. Where there was a there was a three zero and 3 and then we yeah. had in between. Well, with the matchup that's coming up next, which I'm not entirely sure on what it is. but Oh, let's see. let's see. I agree with Ender Bean. He's like, Ninja works so hard for that game five, and then yeah. to lose it in the end is just pain. Yeah, I feel you. I, it Same. looks like it will Machete's be. Machete is waiting for his opponent, and it could be either it's Machete Blaze or, or the not. Yeah, yeah, right. It's one of those two. Right, 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 um, right, 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 right. And then Simple will be waiting on the other side. Okay, we've got the upcoming matches oh. here. It's Machete versus Blaze. We're going to see it in order and everything. All so right. Machete versus Blaze right now, and then Simple versus Ninja 729. Those are both going to be some really good matchups. Yeah, I love how this works out. And that's everybody, right? That's everybody yep. fighting three matchups? Uh, I love how this works out because just like with um, – just like with North America. Two more America, sets. Okay, six sets total. Um, that makes sense. We have the two players that if this were a bracket, if this would be winner's finals. And then we have lower. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Elim the elimination yeah. quarterfinal. It's, it's fun to make those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, so, maybe. So Machete and Blaze are the two winningest players in the micro right now. They're going to be going head-to-head -head, uh, with Fate versus Bryn. And Machete staying oh, with Oh, we're that, about to get fate. into it. Oh, quick shout-out to Fishes. I see Fishes in the chat. I'm gonna give him a big shout out. He's always in. He's deep in the community. He's always here. Big support. Appreciate you, fishes. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, brawl. Mammoth Fortress for game one. All right, let's see how these two match up against each other. So Machete and Simple, game five. Blaze and Ninja Sub tonight, game five. Is it gonna be just as close between these two players here? Let's find out. As Machete and Blaze are now fighting to see who truly has the lead here in the uh, midseason micro. Woo! Woo! And they're swinging. Scythe versus Axe. Ooh. So I see people in the chat asking, is there gonna be a rerun? And you know, might not need a rerun if all these game fives keep going. But yeah, yeah. there's probably gonna be a rerun. Don't we? yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. Sidelight side air is coming out from Machete. There it is. Disarms Blaze. Can he make it back for a spear? Oh man. Unarmed recovery hits. Spear picked up, falling down air. Reco oh, ground pound hits. That one just goes through the platform as well. Machete does make it back. Let's see. Can he get him? Oh, I like the dash jump pivot uh, pogo there from Blaze. That's that's so – he does that in tournament all the time too. It's just – it's one of the quickest things you can do. Like, yeah. you see him out of reach, and then surprise, I got you. Like, oh, and Even though he didn't hit there, he got the recovery on the way back up, and he takes the first stock in game one. Uh – Fade away Nair, it's not gonna hit. Machete uses the strong hit of Sidelight to send him off the left side of the stage. Ooh, <laughs> that's so much damage. I like how their flags are just like rotated, basically. Oh, Machete, yeah. Machete from France and Blaze from Netherlands, I wanna say. Oh, I hope I'm not wrong about that. Downer hits. Surely, surely. Oh. And, oh no, the Nair's coming through as well. Machete, Sidelights. Side airs, trying to get so much through. Weapon toss comes in. Neutral light, Nair hits him off the left side of the stage. Side light. Oh, man, Blaze. He's taking so much damage now. 
Oh, Machete, so good with the nair. That on was, orb. yeah, he is. Oh, oh, huge. His orb, I, you know, I always make the observation that like, ah, his sight, he's got more experience with his sight, so that should be like the weapon of favor. But it is clearly. Machete is clearly dominating with the orb yeah. now. And he, he's starting to favor it, even over the, the scythe that he has so much tournament experience with. Yeah, I love watching it happen. Because uh, he can't always fall back to the scythe, as you said, but the orb has been really been where he's getting the, the biggest leads. Like, if, if we're, when we look at the damage per engagement at the end of this match, um, if it is higher than Blaze's, which I suspect it is, it's all off the back of the orb. Um, nice side light hitting Blaze away. He is on the verge of two stocking him here in game number one. And yeah, Machete, not it, looking good for Blaze. It, like that first stock looked fine for Blaze and then after that, it's just been all Machete. Oh, doesn't get the, okay. Uh oh, Machete. wait a second, what an opportunity. Hold on, does Blaze capitalize on that one error from Machete and oh, bring so, this back? Uh oh, well he does have to avoid He's got everything. the ax, this is his thing. Unarmed side air would right. not out. Everything but that unarmed <laughs> side air. Well, everything but that unarmed well, side air. Well, I think even now that Now from will... now on, uh, uh, everything else has to be dodged, yeah. And Blaze, he can do that. We've seen it before. Whoa. That's a good start. What, I mean, a, what a risky, yeah, not even for play. just for some damage Wait. build up too. Okay, that's uh, it. All right, all right, all right. I respect it. Fair enough. He had to a get good as game much one. damage out of every hit as possible. If the ground pound hit there, that would have brought Machete into orange. But Machete wins game one, uh, and we are going to be going into game two pretty soon here. Where I wonder where we'll go. I mean, it's guaranteed that game five is the dome if we get that far, though. We have to get that guaranteed, far. Guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed game five like, is the Well, hopefully. Uh, oh, no. We could just be going there right now. No, that'd be crazy. It's not even game five. Back to Mammoth. It's only game two. Yes. Okay. Thank you, you called it. You <laughs> called it. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Interesting. Val coming up from Blaze after the uh, the Bryn did not do too hot for him there in game one. And I guess the, the mentality here is just like, yeah, uh, Axe wasn't doing so great against Machete. He's a little too quick for me. He's now switching over to the Val, has the sword and the gauntlets. I wonder how the Val's gonna turn. We've seen him put pull this out in tournaments yeah. before, although it's usually in a in a doubles tournament, I feel like, yeah. when, he, and, when and, he pulls it out. And he would he would put it away in certain situations as well, even if he got off a win of it, right? Like he'd be That's in, right, he, we've he, seen him win with the like Val. He'd be like an elimination semifinals. Off. Win with the Val. So, yeah. Go back so to I wonder. I wonder what this is. I wonder what this is about. Ooh, Neutralite into recovery hits and plays with the gauntlet so far. It's looking pretty nice. Delight, sidelight, recovery. Went for the side sig and Machete gets a nice punish off of that, knowing that Blaze had no dodge. And the side's picked up now, so damage is coming through as well. Sidelight whips, but he doesn't get punished, and he gets the weapon throw afterwards. All right, Blaze in orange. Blaze started game one with the lead, took the stock. Machete never lost the stock again afterwards. Let's see if that's the same here in game two. Okay, let's see. Okay, Machete make it back. Oh, that's, that's it. That's a good edge guard. That yeah. is just that's just straight up solid. Yeah, what's nice oh about uh, sword neutralite as well is that it lingers a little bit longer than an axe neutralite would if you whipped. Because the axe neutralite lasts pretty long on hit, but it has to hit to last that long. Yeah. Well, sword has the same kind of on hit thing, but the miss lasts longer. longer. Yeah, little, the miss lasts longer. It's enough, and it covers such a nice box of space where you're like, uh, I'll just catch mm -hmm. them no matter what. If they don't have and then what happens when Blaze gets gauntlets? Because we, yeah. don't, we don't even know. Okay, well, we're about to find out because gauntlets are, is his next weapon here. Nice neutral stick off the top. Machete primes an orb. Um, weapon spawn comes through, and there it is. Fresh orb comes out. Ni nice neutral light. And Blaze uh, is looking for a weapon, gets the sword. Side light hits. Oh, that neutral stick was so close to being amazing. If he pivoted, it would have been guaranteed to hit, but I think he's getting a dodge in read. I think platform. Blaze is not about the gauntlets. He's he's playing Val for the sword. <laughs> the sword's looking pretty good, too. I mean, I get it. I, I know what it's like to play a legend for one weapon. Oh, man. Weapon throw. Oh. He wants this recovery. Wow, okay. Recovery takes him off the top. Machete is now down to one stock. Nice recovery. Side light hit. Oh, Double the side read. light. Okay, okay. Huge. That was just for some damage buildup, but 
That was sick. Now he's got no dodge. He's got no dodge. Oh, ah. Blaze could have extended that for more. Yeah. Because he caught the dodge. That was that was right out of a gravity there's cancel. A, there's Machete a few was cases have... here where Blaze is gravity canceling something that I think is pretty good, and he hits it in the wrong direction. I think if the neutral light went the other way, he would have extended it. Machete now with the recovery. Trying to take him off. That side stick caught Blaze last game. Doesn't catch him this game. I think Machete is... I mean, he's in. He's in. I, I don't have to think of this. This is just what's happening. Machete is one hit away from being knocked out and going down 2 0 in the set. Really Blaze now finally one. on the last stock, but Machete is just a, a a breath away from going down to his final stock. Yeah, this is very. Sim oh, wow. Okay. Well, just like last game, that Nair is allowed to hit, nothing else afterwards, right? Oh. Actually, I think that, that Sword and Air also would not knock out. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait a second. Bringing right, it back that gets Blaze? No, 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 no. He's, he's... Blaze, man, when it's down, when it comes down to the final moments, you can really count on Blaze to, like, yeah. not crumble He is under a last the stock champion, for Last sure. stock champion. He, There's no better way to free Yeah, he's that's on, it. When, when he's there in red, he's kind of like, oh, if, yeah. I, if I lose here, I lose the game. I better not. Right. <laughs> and it's like, well... Easier said than done, but Blaze definitely makes it look like it's actually just easy, <laughs> which is how good he is at yeah. uh, playing those last stock scenarios. And now we're on Brawl Haven for game three. And the set's tied up one to one. Yeah. And Taza, I'm going to be real, and I'm sorry, production, but I seriously need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to be right back. Go You're going to, I'm going to leave you solo. It's fine. Right it's fine. You've got I'll time before right Miami Dome, right? Like, <laughs> that's game five. All right, Blaze, now against Machete in game three. Uh, is going at let's see what he could do uh has the sword picked up weapon throw comes forward machete with the scythe falls down with the down air sidelight hits have been blaze with the sword gets hit away and i have special guest toast hopping onto the mic with me that's hey it's me photo it's me photo hello Foda. i am photo i am director it's of esports i capitalize the e we can see and blaze and machete dash dancing back and forth <laughs> uh just to acknowledge the fact that Foda has graced us here with yeah. his presence on, on the desk. Uh, Blaze with the silent recovery coming through. Oh, that's the second time, Toast, Foda. <laughs> Which would you prefer? You can call me whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm just Blaze enjoying some good Brahala. That's all, homie. Blaze keeps putting out these gauntlet neutralites. Um, without pivoting them. And they're the right idea, which then leads into just getting absolutely destroyed because he's not hitting the opponent. And then Machete ends up taking the first stop. You know, the other day I played Orb. Yeah. And I, I, I think I hit like two people in the entirety of, of my match. Like I did like 10 damage. Like yeah. if we had stats, it would have been like. Did you hit side light side air though? I, it... I don't think I hit side light side oh, air. Yeah. It's a lot harder than you think. Everybody's, everybody in chat. It's hard because you have me. to jump. You have to jump. I'm not ready to jump when yeah. I do side light side air. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's a lot, There's a lot of things in this game that look like they should happen automatically, but they don't. So no, any yeah. anytime it's like you have to start with a grounded thing to do a jump combo, I'm like, I literally can't do that. I'm too old. My fingers don't go that fast. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, well, luckily, we've got Machete and Blaze with uh, very fast fingers that are able to play out here. Um, that's why I like sword. It's so nice with sword though, because when you downlight, the jump's already done for you. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's you're there. You're just jumping up. Who uh, who are you? Who are you rooting it's for? A, it's a, it, it's an interesting case, because Photo and I were both really going in. I was going in on simple, and he was on the Ninja Seven Two Nine, and they just okay. bustered out in the first two matches of the day. And now it's Machete versus Blaze, which are like our second picks. They're going head to head. Photo is coming back. Thanks uh, for filling in for me, Toast and. <laughs> I forgot what he just, I didn't hear what he just asked you, but oh, I'm, I'm willing yeah, to hear he, your response he, he, to it. He asked us uh, who we were rooting for, and I was like, well, the people we were rooting for, we went down <laughs> <laughs> at the very beginning, and now and now we've switched gears to Machete and Blaze, who are in literally every matchup today has been so darn close. I mean, it's game three. It's two stocks to two in red. Damage per engagement is probably a difference of three at this point with how these two players have been playing here. Machete adapting oh, so well. That was that so good. That was such a good use of the side stick. Incredibly difficult use of the side stick, too, because if the, you space it even a little bit lower, you go straight. He up used the, the wall. tiny yeah. jump of the, the little hop, yeah. the startup of that side signature to make it over the platform. Because yep. he started certainly underneath it. Because if, you, if, you're, if you're too low underneath, you'll ride right up the wall and you will just look like a fool. And you'll, well, <laughs> you'll definitely, I mean, against Machete, you'll get punished and get knocked out for that. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, he did it. He went for a super high risk play, succeeded in the best way possible, and tied up the stocks one to one. Ooh, Blaze Machete now, uh, one to one. Gets hit in the orange. 
<laughs> oh man, oh. those Nair ciders are so good. Fridazol says Blaze is gonna win because he's listened to Martian Twins. Ah, oh, I. I guess Blaze is Blaze has got him like as a friend on on Discord, oh, and, yeah. and they have and Spotify like connected. Spot <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like what is it? I, we what know is he what Blaze right is now. listening to right now. Side uh, cider hits. Uh, what, Mar what happened, Martian Twins? He's like, what? he's like the, the, the playlist <laughs> just changed as I said that. He's like, it's like that's it's, probably it's the, over that's probably the issue. Different. It switched to a different song. He needed Martian Twins oh, on the repeat. GG, the GG from Blaze. No GG from F Machete. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. He still mm. has time. I wouldn't look too far in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know for me, it's definitely like just a habit to press I the mean, button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, After I'm just, a ranked game, yeah. not doing a GG means something. Oh. But in a, in a thing like this, like they're just going to the next man. You got time, I, I, you, I yeah, you got time to type into the custom lobby. But, <laughs> yeah, they're uh, chatting. It's game four now. And uh, Blaze is back to Bryn. The Val did get Blaze a win. Um, but in that game three on Brawl Haven, wasn't looking too hot, and now he's his back's against the wall in terms of staying on this win three, two, or making one, this win streak. Ball. Both players up 1-0 here in the micro. Uh, Machete, if he wins this, he just needs to win one more game to go 3-0 in the entire round robin. Such a great performance from Machete so far. That's right. And, you know, there's no guarantee that anybody goes 3-0. Like, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't yeah, yeah, even yeah. have to work out that way. You're right. This has to work out, and who, who gets the most wins? Just who uh, gets the most wins. And I, it could be a tie, and they, we'll just have to live with that. So, man, it is so wild to me how they're able to just so evenly uh, hit each other once or twice, and it's like, okay, your turn. you got to get your damage up. It's Mach Machete's got to get Blaze the red now. Oh, yep. Nice. Neutral Ooh, light. Oh. He caught the sick read with the gravity cancel neutral light, but yeah. couldn't follow it up into anything more. He did the hard part of the combo <laughs> of, yeah. of, of, of and, that and whole interaction. And he interrupted the side sig with the hard part as well. But yeah, it doesn't get the. Get and then the, no the follow no follow ups. Race. Now Blaze uh, up three to two. Oh, Machete could even this up. He has really been having trouble uh, knocking out with the scythe. I I do like your uh, idea. I, of, yep, it, go it's over to pretty orb. clear. He's like, yeah. yep, orb time. Side light, side air. Goodbye. Wow. That's even the play. On Mammoth, Blaze goes flying. Two to two and then now. Scythe to build up the damage. I think yeah. we've got Machete all figured out, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's those rare cases where he gets put on the orb, and he's like, I guess I'll hit him with seven nares, and it, I guess, it, it I guess, works. So. But the Scythe has been his preferred weapon here for sure, and he gets such creative follow-ups off of Sidelight. He's used uh, the strong hit of Sidelight instead of the weak hit more into combos at low damage than I'm used to seeing from Scythe players, and it's kind of awesome. That seems intentional by Machete, because yeah. we, we've seen well, him he's use, it's so not like he doesn't know to use the weak yeah. Sidelight. He does it all the time, so there's something to that. Oh man, that those they're moments in of Machete in each other's heads where they're here. just kind of like, all right, who's gonna throw out the first move? They're just dashing past each other. Uh, Machete decides to strike first. Blaze hits back, but now Blaze without a weapon. Oh, this is so scary. How does he get through? How does he get through the orb? Oh, that's how. Slide right underneath with the unarmed recovery. Oh, Blaze, he's Ooh. so good at that. Oh, what is? He's so good at that, dude. Well, it, it, that was a nice read on the weapon throw. He threw it above Machete. Machete was either gonna fast fall or down air or jump, right? Yeah. Out of out of hit stun. And he chose correctly. Blaze has multiple times done this uh, jumping down air on X, where I feel like any player is ready for the cider to follow afterwards. And Blaze fast falls, lands, hits the neutral light afterwards. And he does this yeah. at high damage uh, to get those edge guard opportunities. And it's a little similar to how, uh, oh, nice cider from Machete. How Simple was doing down it with Sword. Stock. He would do uh, down air on Sword, and I think he's going to follow up with Nair afterwards because Dare Nair, why not? No, he lands and he hits the neutral light, and he gets oh, a much not? better uh, he gets a much better angle to continue uh, hitting his opponent with afterwards. And now it's one to one. It's so yeah. close. I mean, it has to go to game five. We haven't been to the dome yet. But it's, I saw somebody in the chat asking, why don't they use more heavy attacks? And it's because these players are very good at punishing heavy attacks. Yeah. There's lo a longer recovery time after oh, you miss them, just like that. He's, is but this what you they, want to I mean, They'll, this what they'll you use want? it. They'll use it at the right times. There's there's a good time to use it, especially for yeah. a finisher. But um, it is more punishable. You can get away with it at the lower ranks because the players, they don't know how to punish them so optimally like Machete and Blaze do. But it is a, it's risky business to use a heavy attack. Ooh, is he sideline here? No, weapon throw. Whoa. That was awesome. And that takes us Play to a game. Five. Game is that, five. That's 
a game three, five three, in every three, set. Yeah, three game fives. It has to be Miami Dome. It has to oh, be. Oh, please. Oh, oh Machete. Machete. No, oh. Machete banned out Miami Dome. That's illegal. It is illegal. That's Blaze, illegal. We Blaze, should make it a Blaze. tournament rule, an <laughs> esports rule. Well, you if, know you, if you're on game five, you got to go to Miami what, Dome. What it amounts to is that they just don't have anything to prove against each other, right? Yeah, <laughs> like fair enough. We don't, we don't have to take it to the Dome. Two, We're going to Apocalypse. One, it's just another day, right? But no, it's not another day. It's game five, and both these players are up 1-0 in the midseason micro, and they want to get that, that next win, right, to get the lead in the round robin. It's Blaze versus Machete. Man, this has been so incredibly close. I, it literally cannot get closer. Literally cannot. Um, oh yeah, yep. There, I yeah. guess the only same way damage. the only way it gets closer is if game five, last stock, both players each other at the same time and get knocked out at the same time, and it goes to sudden death. That's the only way, right? <laughs> I have never seen an actual it's, sudden death. It's possible. It is possible. It is possible. Uh, yeah, it is actually possible. It's just so unlikely. Um, Machete in a lead, but he's got to get that stock. And Blaze has been doing a pretty good job here on the spear. Nice side air. Gets him offside. Oh, I love that. Dash forward, dash back. Neutral light. Neutral air. Try to say, oh, that down light was perfectly. Like, oh. the, the idea was oh, so great. Oh, that was so good, Machete. He got every little bit of that. That was that, that took, like, five different things linked together perfectly for him to score that knockout. Now he's got a, a stock lead. He can push this into a damage lead. And it's game five, so there's no better time. You got to decide right now what's it going to be. And whoever wins the, both of these players won their last matchup. So whoever wins this will continue on undefeated. Oh, that's right. And uh, they'll be, they'll have, they'll have, they'll, these are the only two who have a chance oh, to man. be uh, undefeated in this whole thing. Imagine. Uh, and after this, only one of them will have a chance. Oh, yeah, that's right. And imagine, imagine if Blaze was able to do that. Just, just like it was one yeah, thing. It was one thing for seen, Java in well, that, North America. Yeah, I, I wanted to say, yeah, that's like that would be so unexpected. But Java did literally that in the yeah. North American midseason micro, lowest rank of everybody, and he went undefeated. It, it does go, I think, without saying that the lowest PR in a, in a round robin like this has the most to prove, right? right? Like that's the one of those things where they're just you got a point. They, yeah, you they, got a point. If anyone was going to look at this and being like, I want to take down everybody here. Um, uh, with a lot of determination, it would be it would be those players. Oh, Blaze. Blaze nearly went down two stocks against Machete. Yeah, this is looking bad for Blaze and Blaze fans everywhere. Oh, Everyone man. in the Netherlands is upset right now. <laughs> oh, sideline hits! Oh, uh, that was so uh, clever. He tried to do a pickup recovery, but with spear, and he just didn't catch him. But the si I love that idea after the sidelight. Oh, but he can't get the stock photo. Machete's so damaged. He's so... I know. Ah. Machete's going so far. Oh, my... Oh, the whole nation of France is cheering. I can hear it from here. Oh, man. All the way across the ocean. It's audible. I mean, when every single person in France is cheering, it's pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower? Nobody's even looking at the Eiffel Tower right now. They're looking at their phones because they're all watching this stream. <laughs> I mean, they're like, oh, Machete's about the three Machete's stock on stream. <laughs> oh. Uh, a collective, a collective cool. groan yeah, from yeah, everybody yeah. Like, in France. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, oh, I love that. Ibelto X in chat makes the, makes the France logo, uh, the France uh, logo, the France flag with uh, the emotes in the chat. That's awesome. Uh, oh, man, photos. Blaze, I, you, Blaze is your guy. What has he got? What has he got to come I, back into this? Dude, well, I'm, uh, starting with Axe, I think Axe is his most, like, he can dish out the most unanswered damage with Axe. Because he, cause he, it, it takes, like, it's like one or two hits back to neutral. One or two hits back to neutral. And Blaze just seems to win in those situations. But, dude, he's Whoa. over a stock behind. Machete's lapped him. Oh, oh bouncing. Oh. Okay. That that those are those rare. This is but possible. Very special heavy attack moments, chat. That you're looking for, right? Why do they use them more? Well, it's because when they do use them, they want to make it count. And that dance that comes through, probably wouldn't happen again. Ooh, okay, oh, Bla maybe. Blaze thrives in this situation, dude. Like, you, it, it's not about even it. that Ooh. crazy. We talked about it before. Ah. He could just. He could just. Sidelight, air, downlight. Oh. Down air. Oh. Neutral light. Oh, Blaze. 
he steals oh, the dash again. Oh, he risked it for the biscuit. Down air hits again. He dodges through the side air. Machete can't get anything started. No way. No bro. way, no dude. Way. Oh, that, that came so close. He was oh. going to just sing and he goes the wrong way. Machete gets the nair punish, but the weapon throw is avoided. Machete no. goes back for the orb. This is that, that sideline sider would do it. That's it. No. Is it? Oh, man. I Blaze brought it to a last hit. At that point, it was one hit to win. But Machete oh, clutched so it out. Viva la France. And I'm seeing it in the chat. In the chat. I'm saying it in the chat. GG. Machete. He's the only one now who could potentially go undefeated. And we're not going to find out until the end of look the stream. At, look if at it, the if rate it will be. of which Machete got knocked out at the end of the game. Right? Like, Blaze was yeah, just that's his green line there. getting knocked out. And then all of a sudden, two stocks of Machete was going on. It was almost three stocks at the rate of which Blaze was hitting yeah. with the axe. Be, being so three great. stocks to one... Uh, you, you don't get a real good visual. Like, visually, that doesn't look like it's that crazy. But when you see the graph yeah. of, like, one person goes up and down and one person goes up and down while one person, the other person, overlaps both of those hills that you made with your stocks, it's, like, very clear just how well uh, Machete did in that last game. And now he's up 2-0. He's the only person He's right. who could right. go undefeated. And we'll see, because who's he still got to play against? Ninja 729. The Ninja 729. And that, that's going to be his the highest matchup. ranked player. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. Anyway, before that, we've got a different matchup to happen here. And Ooh, I, I did not get it. It's the Ninja 729 and simple. simple. All right. Cool. This is a good one. We've. This is a tournament match we've seen many times i feel like yes and, i mean everybody <laughs> here team baguette yeah let's go team baguette. <laughs> everybody here has fought against each other quite a bit but the ninja 79 simple in particular yeah this would be a lot of uh winner semis matches too right with how yeah. they've received it for so long um uh, uh and simple i think historically gets the upper hand but the ninja 729 well both of them uh are down a game so far in this round robin right so not not quite playing up to the, the the level that we were hoping for this game, but the one that will win Ooh. this, um, we pretty huge here, and they're both very much specialists in the region for the weapons and characters that they play. Uh, here we've got the Ninja Seven Two Nine on the Sidra, which we talked about for for a long time in the last best. Yeah, I will tell you all about it. You and know? Uh, simple on the boat bar, which uh, we we've already told you all about, but we'll tell you about it again as it happens. Right, scoop comes through, nice nair, and they he got so close to that weapon throw so quickly that. It wasn't even active yet, right? If you throw those weapons point blank, they're not going to uh -oh. hit you. Right. There's a minimum distance required before. Oh, he he still <gasps> he did not touch the wall. Simple totally stuffed it with the weapon throw. Dude, that was nicely simple done. Blaze. Everyone's making me go. Maybe that move needs to be used a little less because <laughs> he has been getting hit out of that anchor in really yeah, unique ways. It seems. I mean, it is such an extreme I, amount of movement for one I signature. Do get, I do get the idea though. Um, if he had touched the wall just no barely way. before that weapon oh throw hit, gosh. Simple uh, made it back. he would have made it back. But Simple, with the weapon throw, stopped the anchor before he touched, and he just drifted right away. And now Simple does go down. Okay. Taylor recovery yeah. hits, evens it up. And it's like that first stock didn't even matter. Dude, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, th I'm still thinking about baguettes. Somebody said baguettes in the chat because Machete was <laughs> on and we're talking your, about it's France. It's just stuck and, in your brain. Well, dude, like, okay, so I've been to France a couple times now, and the baguettes are so awesome. <laughs> like, they're so legit. It's like a meme, like, oh, uh, France, baguettes. You, uh, you went to Paris, you have baguettes. Dude, because, yeah, it's, like, just so normal that, like, any regular old corner store that doesn't even, it's not even anything important has the most delicious baguette making fresh bread. Like fresh bread is just a wow. normal thing there and I'm I'm here for it anyway. I love the baguettes. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, there's, there's no there's no baguettes there, on this. There's not even there's a, a, a French player on the stream right now. The player representing it goes 3-0 this weekend, right? Like there, he, 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 he's close. And the baguette, everybody eating a baguette will be super excited yeah. about that. Ooh. Oh, can't wait. He hit him with that. Simple thought he was fine. Oh, but the angle and the was cannon. just too good enough. Oh, and he's, he covers himself perfectly. Siders him to the stage. Can side him again. Weapon throw, maybe. No, he touches the wall for dodge. Drifts right away. Gets back. Wow. Gravity cancel neutralite. Unarmed. Simple. Picks up a hammer from the edge of the stage. Oh, but he can't get the... Wait, he can. What? Not. That was tricky. Wow. That was so tricky. He had me fooled. I, I was I like, thought, oh, I he, he just SD'd. Yeah. What, yeah. What, yeah. 
what a bad play. He just SD. No, instead he, he makes he it back in the trickiest way. He fooled Simple. Simple thought he was dead. And he took a stock with it. And he ends up taking the stock. Wow, that's, that's so a, That's optimal. That's optimal. I just realized both of these players are from Germany. So it's like a, this is a nation battle. Oh, look at who's that. The, who's the best player from Germany? Well, right now, I think it's PR says it's a ninja seven two nine. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But tournament tournament history says it's simple, yeah, right? That's so what, right. You know, what, what, how does it shake out? We're just well, gonna have to find I, out well, in this set. When we get to game five, right? Yes. <laughs> we'll dip our salsa and we'll find out exactly. Oh man. Yeah, these have been the most uh, prolonged taste tests of the summer. It's like, wait, we're really taking our time with these five. chips. It's like, <laughs> it's been two hours. Our food's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's fine. This is our third refill. Simple with the sword coming down. Hammer picked up. Nair comes through. Oh, Cider They're both hits. in red. They're both in, so in knockout close. range. It's anybody's game here, but Simple's got weapon control. So it's looking good for Simple. Plus oh, the what? hammer. No. Oh, he still maintains weapon control. All right. Now he's just one down light. <gasps> wow. Ninja knew he was going for the down light. Neutral light hitch. Now on the side. Wait a second. Ah, this yeah. could be the end. But for the Zeus throw, gets the neutral light. Is that enough? Oh, my God. One more unarmed neutral light would do it. Weapon throw cover, Simple's landing. That's it. Ninja A neutral light. Yeah. Player From the wins. stage hey. was enough to knock out. They yeah. were very damaged. We have been seeing these games go up to 700 damage, Foda, and that was pretty close, too. 666. And that was... <gasps> El Diablo. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's spooky. I, like... I'm shook. <laughs> look, at, look at that. The Ninja 729 that's equals hard. It's El hard, Diablo. It's hard to get a, a six. You have to, like, to get to a six as a single digit there. You have, it's That's weapon throw dependent, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most, of the, most of the damage of this game. Well, actually, that's not true. Damage is all over the place. Um, but Ninja 729, simple on Apocalypse here for game number two. Ninja 729 barely winning that. I would like to say all off of the back of that Wild recovery that he did yes. when we thought he SD'd. And yeah, he, yeah, everybody thought he was done, and then he made it back in the trickiest way, and then he went on, he took a sock, he ended up going on to win it. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, man. Gravity cancel, neutral light not hitting. Simple and orange, side light hit. Simple goes for the nair. Weapon throw down, nice side air, hits him off the side of the stage. And simple goes in for the weapon. Hammer falls to the side and recovery hits. The just too nice. So close to take this first stock. Can he get it? Oh, nope, he can't. Sider doesn't come through. Nope, <laughs> and nope, but he's Well, I'm he's worried close. about it because when he's against Simple, like, if you don't take the stocks there on those edge guards, right. you just, He'll like, just go catch away. Up. He'll just catch there up. There was that question you asked me that one game where it's like, how does he Simple bring this back? I'm like, it's actually pretty high. Like, what did I say? Like, 40, <laughs> you right, right. Like, like, like 40 something four, percent. Yeah, 43%. Like, that's it, a lot. That's a high that percentage. Stuff, and it's like, wow. But, and then he did oh, it. Oh, I don't feel. I don't feel. And like nobody in the chat was that game. surprised. Uh, neutral light hits in the spot dodge. Oh man, ninja. Oh, Boda, ninja seven two nine. All right. Yeah. When it comes yep. to this head to head, the players ninja. that we picked, I feel like you're kind of crushing me right now. Simple. He's a ninja. Simple goes down, and he's not even in red yet. What the heck? I saw somebody in chat asking, "How are the four players chosen for this? They're the highest ranked players in Europe who are confirmed to be attending the midseason championship." That's and right. that's why it's called the midseason micro. Oh. It's a little micro, a little micro taste of what's to come in the midseason championship. Recovery coming through. Simple needs to take. Okay, simple needs to take a stock. Cider hits. He, he bounces him off the stage. That's not even enough. He has to pick up the sword. That's it. D light recovery takes it. All right. If you ask me again, I don't even think there's. I think it's zero percent, which is actually factually not. True. It, there's always. It can't, there's got to be. There's greater. always a 0. chance. Zero point one at least. It's, it's zero point one. It's as close to zero. Um, with a lot of trailing zeros. But after what that. if, dude? I mean, he, I would love to be wrong, but Ninja I will be is, so excited. Ninja Seven Two Nine is playing. I think incredibly. I think Simple heard you, and he's about you, you <laughs> motivated <laughs> him now <laughs> to prove you wrong, which is maybe it's your like, grand uh, plan. I know. Uh, like, I mean, you that, might be thinking a few like, steps ahead. Ooh, yeah, like a huge uh, loop of uh, the psychology there, but no, a uh, weapon throw comes down. Uh oh. Why am I saying uh oh? Simple's the uh -oh. guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. Dude, All right. Watch it's like, Simple it's like, bring this back. It's like 25 now. It's like there's a fourth. There's a fourth of a chance here. What is happening? Well, you can't. I mean, How did I Obviously, doubt the so chance hard. increases. Whoa. He's it's not actually, getting hit. It's not even that. It's not even going to be that crazy uh -oh. when Whoa. he brings it. Oh, he's going for the double ground pound. He wants it. He wants the dub. 
Oh man, sorry. What? Simple. What, what is? Where is this coming from? He only got hit by a weapon throw since since you said zero percent. Since I said zero percent, and I was like, that's factually not possible. Dude, he is so <laughs> determined to win this. <laughs> Wait, all right, Nair hits. Another Nair comes through. Simple gets the side oh. light. Doesn't get the side air afterwards. Gonna get the punish. Landing side air. Dude. Oh no. Dude, he's totally gonna turn this around. Oh, recovery hits. Zero percent. Wait. Oh, that was. That's it. He's is that done. It? <gasps> Oh, he actually was okay. gonna make. He, he, he had was, enough to make it back I, to my surprise. I'm never going to say something so crazy so ever again. So bold. Well, it felt in my defense. That was bolder than and the salsa on say, these tortilla chips. I will say that I was very wrong to make that call at the time when I said it. And this was just like you asking me with simple <laughs> that other time, right? When I said it. The game stay felt like it was solved for me. And then three, we find out two, why these games one, are so competitive in Brawlhalla, right? It's yeah. because even if you're up three stocks to one, it just, the, the game is really based around how much you're getting hit. And if you're not getting hit and you you're hitting your just, opponent, you could it, just not get hit. You can yeah. boil it down. It's not guaranteed. You never really have to take damage to deal out damage. It yeah. just works out that way most of the time. And now we're here 2 0. Oh, is this going to be the first 3 0 of the, of, the, of the day? Oh! Yeah, this could very well be the first Simple and potentially only 3 0 of the on day. Stock. Oh, puts on the neutral stake, doesn't hit him. Oh, he do dodges through, doesn't pivot it. Simple. Is it, I think he's got like a side light's worth of damage. He took so much damage, the sword was knocked out of his hands. Weapon throw down, pick up neutral light. Oh, there we go. Not quite the Zeus throw, but still a pretty good one. And Simple with that stomp, side light, side air. Loving that, that the, the attacks coming out from Simple here in game three, but he's got to take this stock here to have a chance, I feel like. Cider hits, gets him out of that sword recovery. Sword picked up for the Ninja 729, but Simple bringing it back. Weapon throw forces the fast fall down, stops the down line with that weapon throw himself, and the cannon goes straight up. Oh, Simple. That was such an amazing edge guard, but Simple did touch. There it is. Weapon throw down. Simple finally goes down, but not after taking a bunch of damage himself. Ninja 729 had Simple at that amount of damage that entire stock since he was at white, and now he's in red. The Ninja 729 with a stock lead. Oh, and he oh, and he punishes the dodge. Oh, and he keeps the Tama going unarmed because he knew that Simple had no dodge, so that was the opportunity to build up the damage even without Whoa. a weapon. He catches him, but damage was done. And a nice play that it is 729. Now he's in the lead. Yeah, I like that recovery from Simple. Um, neutralized, not catching him on the ground. It's a lot of sword versus sword so far. Oh, that's a good side air. Simple's been really tough to edge guard from the Ninja 729. Um, and that's not uh, that is not working out in the Ninja 729's favor either. D light, uh, side air punishes the anchor. Recovery hits from the Ninja. Another recovery hits with Ninja Go for the third. Okay, okay. recovery, recovery, Nair. No, no Nair hits, but the satellite does after you gravity cancels it. And one more recovery. I mean, simple, just cannot land. Shout outs to DavySec30 in the chat with a hilarious joke. Hilarious, hilarious. I'm, that's awesome. All right, here we go. <laughs> back, back to the action. I take a look at chat every now and then. I you know, like, when we I do the to, normal like, tournament it. streams, we don't have chat on yeah. because obviously, right? We gotta be, we gotta be professional. We're not, we're not. We're, we're all about the event here, but I'm enjoying a little bit of chat action in this. Simple is so deep in the red that, oh my gosh, he even survived that one. That was as far as you could get sent without being knocked out. Yeah. Simple's gonna get knocked out from just about anything now, but he still could end the stock from, okay. My goodness, an unarmed neutral light. That could have, if the stage was twice as long, it still would have knocked him out. <laughs> I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> he did on the platform as well. Oh, oh I thought we were going to see some sick cannon. Wait, what? Oh, the cannonball still hit. Oh, Ninja 729 really is uh, enjoying using that move right now. He's oh, and the cannon was still available to be picked up. Oh, Whoa! he was in the uh, middle of priming a cannonball. He Wait, still got the hit the <laughs> after the bounce. Okay. <laughs> About, and, and then he still got the knockout off the top, too. <laughs> Simple is crazy. Okay, Ninja 729 with the ground pound. D like ground pound again. Go for a third. He's doing so well with the unarmed, but he's just every single one of these stocks photos has just been tons of damage, and then Simple living forever. This uh, could be a 3 0, the first and potentially only 3 0 of Europe's mid season micro. Oh, man. Sidelight. Oh, is it going to be a down tick? No, Nair hits. The Ninja 729. How about oh. that? Oh, Cider whiffs. Simple 
Oh, that ground pound was, was crazy. D-Light comes through. Whoa, that one was less crazy. That one was close. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, you dude. Okay, I, you, you, you're, you basically called for an end of that move off stage. <laughs> and you might be right. You might be right. It's, I, it's I overrated. Don't even, I don't even think that sword recovery... I that that is like a that is an interaction and a half. Oh, oh that's it. Recovery off the top. GG. Yeah. Simple really bet the farm with that neutral signature. Had it landed, could have been a knockout. And 29 damage. Yeah. I think that's the highest today. I think last Simple's one was 706. Holy cow. Simple's an actual tank. He's a he's a paladin tank. You can tell. Wow. Um, <laughs> Ninja 729 uh, gets the win. Simple now down. 0-2 in the round robin here with the midseason micro and that means which is surprising that is a, it is a bit because i you know even w w rankings aside and uh, we talked about this before we went on here we talked yeah. about i think we pretty much agreed that simple would do the best at the midseason championship in our predictions yeah because he's he's got so much experience at the high level he's got so much experience being on the biggest stage and i and i mean that both online and offline because mm. while he's been in grand finals of of world championships uh, online in 2020 and 2021 and he was in the grand finals of nearly every tournament in 2020 he was also on the grand final stage of the last in-person world championship against sandstorm in 2019 yeah yeah simple so he's been, he knows everywhere. what it's like and he's got what it takes yeah and, and so i guess when i when thinking about that from my perspective as well i was like simple all basically out of everybody that's still really competing at a high level in eu has the most experience against north american players as well that's, and that's true that's but, but true this as well. is this is the european mid-season micro not yeah. the european and na mid-season micro right so yeah. it's like he's fighting amongst others in his region I, i'm seeing a lot of players really know how to fight against them the only thing that's different that's tough for everybody that we've seen so far is finishing off simple stock simple will take 300 damage in a blink of an eye yeah and then it will take like one in-game minute to actually lose that stock it takes twice as yeah. long to, uh, to f from white to red against simple it takes it, it takes twice as long to actually just finish yeah. him off after he's red yeah simple than to get amazing to white to red. at that survivability and we saw how many times he almost brought that back so now we've got um Simple's final game on stream. Let's see if he can get a win on the board. He's going to be going up against Blaze in a best of five here. And Blaze is fighting for that, I think, 1-1 right now. So Blaze is trying to go for that 2-1 scoreline at the end. And Simple... Uh, yeah, I was going to gonna say, that. this is tough for Simple because Blaze yeah. is the is the only person Three, to have two, defeated one, the Ninja 729. He's right. the highest, and he's the highest ranked player of these four. Ooh, uh, we're starting off And now though. Simple, who is down 2-0, or 0-2, um, yeah. has to go up against, you know, who is the Kingslayer of, of Europe, within yeah, Europe, right? So we, we've, got, uh, we've got Simple and Blaze. If Simple wins this... Blaze and Simple both end the the micro at one two, uh, and Simple wants to get that win on the board. As you're talking about, right? It's that it's it's a little bit more than pocket change, right? <laughs> when it comes to each one of these wins, you yeah. get that two hundred dollars uh, to be able to bring it into the midseason championship would be pretty sick. Lunch is on me, as you said, for anybody that gets this. And right now, well. Machete is looking really great in that regard. Simple and Blaze, however, going head-to-head. -head. So Blaze wins this. He goes 2-1, and that is a stellar performance coming from him. But Simple gets that first stock, and he's trying to stop that from happening. Ooh. Like any action coming out from Simple here. D-Light Sider is coming out on the dome as well. Blaze with the spear. Oh, no, no recovery is coming through. Pogos? Oh, double Pogo. Look at that. He called it. Blaze Pogos? Off stage? Question mark? <laughs> and Blaze is like, yes, Pogos. <laughs> <laughs> to finish well, it. you were talking about how Blaze loves doing uh, uh, down airs on spear off edge yeah. charts in general. He, yeah. is, he is so proficient at it. And honestly, it's a great move for it. I mean, it's the only it's downside. very accurate. Yeah, yeah it's the, the the hitbox on it is tiny, but the startup on it is so quick and it has long range. Yep. So it's like if you can land it, that's the move. And off state, and it hits directly downward, as if you know, even if it didn't hit directly downward, it would be pretty good. Oh yeah, and it keeps you from falling downwards with your opponent as well. It's just one of those moves that rewards you for being great with it. And oh, oh and look at that nice recovery off the top. Uh, don't, we don't have to worry about great hull shenanigans here on the dome. As you're talking about the blast zones here are pretty darn aggressive. Yeah. Uh, 
Weapon they're small. Uh, it's, weapon. It's, they're close. And Blaze isn't having that thing. We were just talking about as simple as a Paladin, right? Living to 726 damage every game. Uh, Blaze is closing these stocks out immediately. Yeah. Well, the, the the dome is helping with that. This is it's a small stage, so it's, it's ideal for. Oh, the, oh my gosh! The downers are coming through. That's another thing scary about uh, fighting against Blaze with Dude. downers here. Oh Simple my. can't run under the He's, stage. That's I think <laughs> five. His last five hits were all downers all down off there. the side. Bringing Simple Pogo, to orange. Pogo power. Almost off of the Pogos in general, and Blaze uh, now with the axe. Sidelight and Ares are on the table. Neutral light catches the neutral uh, the sidelight coming through. Oh, recovery comes through. Blaze sends him off stage. He's trying to babysit him with the axe. No, recovery doesn't hit. D light down air comes through. What Simple's be? close to being knocked out, and oh. he's got the hammer in hand. It's deceptive though. Close to being knocked out. We know, we know what that means for Simple. Downlight hits. Oh, backswing a dare. Gravity cancel downlight plays so good with gravity cancel downlight on axe. He hits. He's so accurate with it. Whoa! I wonder if line of sight was in the way there. If he just missed. Downer hits. Oh, the neutral light. The downers are doing so much damage. Photo. <laughs> he's brought it back though. Simple. Even though, he's, even though he's so close Whoa. to being knocked out, he's bringing it back, and he's that got plays near. <laughs> oh man. He had him in. He sent, had him in knockout range. Sent it warp was possible. Speed from that side air, simple switches to the Taros. Oh Look my! He switched. It, it, like production's already on top of it. Well, that's they, so fast. <laughs> what? They were, they were like, we, we, we already is know. Is it dynamic now? He's that was going so to the fast. Taros. That was so fast. We, he didn't even place Taros in that last Three, one, yeah, but he, yeah. we already switched the icon. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so here he comes, simple playing Taros now, in his in his last ditch ever. He's not even. He's not even down 0-2, right? He's, he's he's got more than one game oh. left at least. Oh, oh, three recoveries in a row from Simple bringing Blaze into Orange. Blaze wasn't ready oh, for any of them. Simple's already excited about this legend swap. This is working yeah. out great. Well, and, and when he was on the sword, oh. Oh. whoa. Okay, Simple. Blaze ready to punish that one. That's neutral that came so close. Science again. Oh my god. You know what? Oh. If Simple does win this game yeah. on Taros, Blaze is totally gonna switch because Blaze has yeah. a Taros too. We've seen him yeah. use it at tournaments plenty of times before. Oh, that'd be so cool. This is gonna devolve into a Taros mirror match. <laughs> or evil. <laughs> or depending evil. on who you're asking, right? We're seeing that that science that comes through. Uh, simple, yeah, with the sword last game, I totally get this. He was using side light on sword all the time, and every single time Blaze was like, where are you side lighting? Sits down, neutral lights him, and he catches him in the middle of it. And sword, axe neutral light's so good at catching the momentum of that move. Wow, simple, Sider is back, and chase dodge is back. Good job on Blaze hitting him there, but simple almost got back with yeah, a lot Yeah, I love damage. the aggression of that. He lands the side air, and he chase dodge it just straight forward to continue coming back on the stage. But Blaze. Uh -oh. oh, neutral Wait a neutral second. Is that it? This would be so huge. Oh, my. If that ground uh -oh. pound landed. He's so good with the down airs, but simple with the I axe know. recovery. Simple mixed it up right. He's caught Blaze with the axe recovery from stage a few times now. I think that's like the fourth one that's hit. Uh, oh, nice patience. If Blaze fast fell, that was uh, it for that stock. And Simple's really hoping Ooh. he's going to do it. And he's not fast falling into the down sig. Uh, Blaze really waiting out that option. Sidelight, D light, Cider. You love to see that as a spear player. Oh, but he was gravity canceling and he got hit by the Sair. Simple is get, is really good at that. He's like, I see Whoa. your Blaze thought he was safe. Blaze thought he was safe. He didn't so, get hit by the first hit. I, yeah, but the, the, second, the hit second hit has dips, different hitboxes. It, it dips, dips down low. a little. Blaze was, was chilling down there thinking he was safe. I was as surprised as Blaze was when that <laughs> happened. I, I wonder if he was waiting out the full move so that he could unarm neutral sig at the end of it. And when the move just didn't hit, uh, whatever the case is, simple with that down sig, spaced it well enough to catch him off guard. And sidelight and air comes through after ground pound. Will Blaze pogo it? I don't think he will. Simple doesn't have enough damage for him to go for that just yet. Whoa. Look at that. Nair hits. Down okay, hits. simple's got the lead. This is looking like it's looking like we're gonna go to one one here. Oh, yeah. It's just a matter of what Blaze decides to pick after this, right? Oh, but he makes it back. Loves going for that double power. Pogo downer. power, yeah. 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 But how could Blaze, even though Blaze can pick Taros, how could he give up the spear, you know? Yeah, yeah the so spear has been fantastic. Simple wins and ties up the set one to one in this best of five. No, that was too fast. Blaze definitely picked the same legend. Mm -hmm. We're going back.
Oh, this Bands is a good song. This, this is a good song. Oh, what's this background? And turn, now he goes to... Turn up to, the background music. Uh, and now he goes over to Apocalypse. Turn it up, production. Turn it up. Turn it up. Oh, that's a good song. Dude, I love that. Oh, it's so funky. All right. That's over now. And now we're back at the end of the world. <laughs> right let's, let just, well, just write down that yeah. song name for me. You know, I, I got to check that out. All right. So no, no terrorists from... Okay, Blaze. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. He does dodge back. Lots of stuff recovery there at the start. Oh, simple, so good about that. He, instead of panicking after the the, the the move misses, he evaluates his position, knows he doesn't the move, and he gets the neutral light afterwards. Blaze and simple, so close here in game three. And he's got him off the edge already. Simple working on a quick one. This could be. Whoa. Wait. Oh yeah, talk about a quick one, dude. That was that was quick. Yeah, that's how air. quick was it? You ask. Let me, that, that was, yeah, like 40 seconds or less. Yeah, that was an amazing ground pound. And the side air clashed in a way that was in favor of Simple. Really awesome. Blaze now trying to figure out how to get this lead back because, man, every single side light, side air, side light and air from Taros is just hurting that much more no than No way. Else. Oh, the full bit, dude. Side light, double down light, side air. That's every spear player's dream. Yeah, so much damage. That's like, yeah, that's what you do to the bots while you're queuing up, yeah. you know? Oh, and the side air catches him with a weapon throw down. But just like that, Blaze evens it up. I thought that it was going to be a lot tougher for Blaze, but Blaze has not been having trouble uh, knocking out simple stocks as opposed to the other players that we've seen so far in, this, uh, in the micro. You're right. You're right. That's like a that's like a special buff that Blaze has because everybody else just uh, simple. They'd get him to red, and then Simple would be at red for yeah. like as long or twice as long as as when it's he like, was oh, at wow, white. Simple only took 550 damage. That's low. <laughs> that's, but that's what's happened. Nair. Oh, Blaze doesn't get the side light. Simple landing on the ground before dodging, so the dodge cooldown is not quite as long. Really smart. Side light Nair. Goes to the down light, and oh, no dodge means that Blaze just gets side aired for it. And Simple's like, okay, you gave it to me. Blaze will often go for these follow ups on acts that are so not true that if you do the wrong one, it actually puts you in a position to get punished. Um, and we just saw that right there, Simple punishing him with that side air. Ooh. Nice side air coming out from Blaze. Simple with a stock lead, but it's but just just barely. So any damage he gets on Blaze right now is just huge, because it's gonna come down to the final stock. Oh, he's That's so good with the weapon hurt. throws. That feels he, so he bad did that for with Simple. The, with the axe in the last best yep. of five that we saw too, he's so good at predicting. We see him land that in tournament all the time too. He always makes the right decision on the weapon throw. He seems to land that just extremely often compared to other players. Oh man, and now the damage coming back in his favor. Simple avoids the side air. Down air hits though. Blaze goes for the double dip, but he doesn't get it. Simple falls down. He went for a recovery, but Blaze's down air was faster. That recovery hits, and that's it. Simple oh. the ground pound. Two okay. ground pounds, I guess. What do you, what, is Blaze going to switch his legend? What do you think? No. Wait, he did. It was Val. You were right. Oh, but not Taros. Not Taros. I thought, I thought he would go to Taros. This is uh, the pick that he has in store for when his back's against the wall appears. And, it, and that's we saw it in doubles we were talking about earlier, and now he's bringing it out against Simple. Simple is now one game away from uh, avoiding complete defeat at the micro, right? Because th th this is that point where he was almost ready to go 0-3, but if he takes this, him and Blaze will tie for that 1-2 score line at the end. Um, yeah. Before we go for our final match of the day. Yeah. Oh, Simple. Wait. Do it again. Neutral C. That's oh. it. He didn't touch. GG. What a play. Wow. The 15 second knockout. That is so good, dude. Oh, and, and I'm glad that. And he you're right. It's like a good for simple to he, not go 0 3. <laughs> He didn't listen to the double neutral sick, even though for like me, every Taros player, you hit the one neutral sick, it's not enough. We have to hit him with it again. But no, that recovery yeah. is so smart. It's the same for Asuri players and, and the Qatar <laughs> dogs. Dunk, yeah, you dunk. gotta go for the second one. Oh man. Sider hits. Blaze could even this up. Oh, that's it? And he does. I don't think Simple can make that back. Okay, he may wow. have been able to, but there's no question when that downer connects. That is incredible. I mean, Simple had a full stock lead, and Blaze, like, very casually ties it back up. I'm telling you, you're so right. He barely took any about damage. About that, uh, that 2v2 mentality that Blaze has, when he, like, loses a stock early, he's like, I got to make up for this. <laughs> yeah, he, everything changes. Yeah. Oh, man, another neutral stick hits, though. 
What's Blaze gonna do? Wait for wall slip? Oh, simple. You can't. There's no way. He actually went for it. He went for the, the, the like, five wall jump, gravity cancel, neutral sync is Terrace at the edge of the stage, and Blaze just destroys him for it. Uh, simple now trying to go for those stomps, but Blaze has brought the game back to even after that move missed. Now the lead. Oh, no recovery. Oh, that's dangerous. Just lands with the down light. Ah, side light hits. Scan, simple, do it. <gasps> he, he like, oh. It's like the tip of the down sink. I that know. was so hard to hit. Oh, but he still catches him with the scoop. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Okay, okay. Just like that. Down sink, down air. Simple looking for that extra damage now. If Simple wins this game, it's GG. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. If Blaze wins this game, though, we're going to game five. And game five has kind of been a consistent theme of That's this right. midseason, Mike. The, these four players, incredibly close within their own region. Yeah. It's been so interesting to see uh, the dynamic between this and the, and, and the last micro, where we just had some, like, okay, this player beats this player, this player beats this player. Not the case here. Um, super up in the air. It still is. as Blaze. He's been getting so many of these awesome strings on sword, but then Simple just gets three really strong hits. And just like that, it's back to even. Cider hits. No, it doesn't. Oh, Blaze is so good at avoiding that. Nice Are we going line. to game five? Oh, hit. Are Neutral we going miss. to game five? Neutral hits again. Uh -oh. Blaze, he's bringing it there. Uh-oh. Recovery's coming through, gets Simple. Oh, Simple wants this win so badly, but the Val has been so tough. And he got that. Oh, this got, is it, this is it. Watch, here it comes. He got that 15 second stock and it's so close. Oh man, Blaze doesn't get the recovery. Simple, falling underneath the Sage. Disarms him, that's huge. Another Nair could come through, Scoop. Not enough, wow. Val's defense just high I enough. I thought surely that would be it. That was Simple, that's it, that's it. Simple wins. He simple did not go 0-3. Let's go simple. And that means nobody went 0-3, right? That's right. We're, we're getting No one quite, went 0-3. So, so no one went 0-3. Simple takes that win, gets the 3-1 over Blaze. Interestingly enough, Blaze's only win is over the highest PR player in the micro, but that's, that that's is how, how unusual that's how and it interesting. That's how sometimes. Um, man, only 14 damage from the gauntlets. The, yeah, he was not. I, know, I, we, I was talking about this last you did, time. You did. Now. I'm like, well, what about? I feel like I never see Blaze play gauntlets. He, What's he going to do with the gauntlets? He's, nothing is I, the answer. I, I He's not going to do anything with the gauntlets. I wanted to like, He's fight throw against away it, and play on sword. Like, the first time he picked Val, he did a double sidelight recovery, and you popped off where I popped off of it, and then he never picked the weapons up again. And then like as the, the, the micro has progressed. What if he did? Well, for, 14 right? Maybe damage. that was what, what he needed. What gauntlet move does 14 damage? I guess like not even like a full side light. <laughs> like that's so little damage. Oh, I don't know. That's... I have no idea. <laughs> well, whatever the case is, Blaze and Simple are through. They're both one and two so in the no, standings. Yep. Um, no one went. Uh, no one's going zero and three. But there is still a chance right. for Machete to yeah. go three and zero. Oh. And and we've got our, so you're you're repping the Ninja Seven Two Nine, and if he takes this. It'd be a 2-1 tie between him and Machete. And because of the nature of this micro, where it's just a lot of money matches going forward, we're not going to have the tiebreaker. There is no, yeah, there's no but, uh, need to have a first, second, and third in this competition. Yeah. It's just a, each match is $200 for winning, and that's it, straight up. But we're going to have this matchup coming up, and I'm excited to see this. It's Fate versus Citro. Very interesting uh, legend No one's ever well. seen this matchup well, before. Well, as well as, uh, <laughs> as a, a player with their play style matchup coming against uh, each other, Orb and Scythe versus Cannon primarily in the Fire Extinguisher. I will never see the Ninja 17 I use another sword skin. So I might, love it. I well. love it. I love it. He got the whole John Cena crossover just yeah. for the Fire Extinguisher. I, I mean, hey, sometimes you – well, that's, that's the awesome thing about uh, skins in Brawlhalla is that when you look at a, a new legend skin that comes out, you may just pick it up with those blasters, you know? <laughs> it's like, I, it's like, you, yeah. might, you might just be I like, I need I that. I certainly do that, yeah. like, I need that guitar for my story. Yep, there we go. Whole skin. Uh, Machete versus Ninja 729. So this is going to decide whether it is, oh goodness, Machete. Oh, oh, Machete fighting for that 3-0 here. He wants to go undefeated in the micro here this weekend. Dude, okay. I want him to go undefeated. That would be that would be exciting. Oh man. Uh, Ninja 729, however, has got strings on the cannon today as well. Look at that, neutral light hits. Oh, the dash to fake out, gets the sidelight afterwards. Cannonball comes through, Machete spacing it around at that time. But really good uh, matchup so far between these two. Who's going to get that first stock? Ooh. And Nair, oh. double Nair. Explosion off the top. Look at that. Okay. Well, I got to say, even though I, like, started off this whole thing cheering for the Ninja 729, 
and been, wanted him to win right from the a, start. It's been a difficult matchup to be biased in um, because it's been so back and forth. And it's right. been so interesting watching them I, all play. I want to see Magenta get the 3-0, honestly, even though I, I guess, you know, I won't be disappointed no matter what happens. Right, right. Uh, Ninja 729, however, up uh, pretty strong. Satellite Sider hits. Oh, what can Machete this do is the last. This is the last matchup of the day. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. There's no. Okay. Once that happens, everyone's played each other, and we get that final score line, which could be a lot closer than we it would have expected. It could be a bunch lot, of ties. Lots of two yeah. Ones two and one different twos. ties. Oh, weapon comes through. Oh, that neutral light was so smart, but Machete didn't fall into it. Oh no, no downer after the side light. Oh, Cannon. Let's see if he can get it. He's going for the right read, just the wrong spacing. The side light's hitting. Machete spot dodges in place. Downer doesn't hit. But he is getting the damage through, so I can't can't really be complaining here because the damage isn't coming back his way. And when those neutral lights hits, look at that side air, disarms him. Now he's over onto the sword. Neutral light, neutral signature doesn't hit. Can't get the tentacle to connect, and that weapon throw goes all the way up. Man, Machete mm. just starved. He and uh, Machete was he really wanted that weapon too. Ninja stole it from him. Oh. Look at that, he's still we, we get Fra France in the chat. France is in the chat right now cheering oh, yeah, for that's Machete. Right. The whole nation. Wants that 3 0. Ooh, side light side air hits. Puts him off the right side. Falls with the cannon. Side air hits again. Machete. Oh, that's such a great punish on cannon side air. You just fade back. Hit him with the side light. Orb's so good for that. Oh, Machete's just so good at getting out of these cannon strings. Whoa. All That's right. the highest damage option. Slight, slight kick ground pound unarmed is the, the highest damage option out of slide kick. Ooh. Oh. Oh, man. Machete almost jumping he's, into that. Yeah. Hey, and, and he's, ninja, he's, he's playing at range here. He's got a stock lead. He's, any damage is good right now for him. Oh, but the weapon throw disarms him. Is that the edge guard? No. Nice. That's the best way to make it back to the stage. If you just hit the other guy, they can't, <laughs> yeah. hit, they can't hit you. It's just such a benefit to that chase dodge activating chase dodge. whatever direction you want. Well, not every direction, but in directions that are typically closer to the stage. <laughs> nice weapon throw. Oh, Silent hits. Okay. Even game. Well, it's not. But it's close on stocks. <laughs> uh, Ninja 729 uh, could. Well, I'm trying to think what would happen here. Machete opened up with a scythe pretty crazily in the beginning of this game. But that down sig, that's it. Takes him off the top. He's been doing that to great success all day today. The the like dash jump, gravity cancel, down sig. Yeah. Uh, where he uses what I would normally consider to be a lackluster move and makes it so much better by covering so many different things. Grounded, aerial, spot dodge. It's awesome. Well, Machete in his quest for a 3 0 clean sweep is down. He's down, a down one. by one yeah. in this matchup against his greatest opponent. I mean, at least statistically, it should be, you know, since the Ninja 729 is the highest ranked of all four of these players. That's right. Ninja 729 starting off strong. We're over to Apocalypse for game two. Uh, Machete fighting for that 3-0 sweep, but it could go towards the Ninja 729, as you said. Looking at the numbers alone, he's favored, and now falling with an air. Oh, recovery comes through and doesn't hit. Weapon throw down. Ah, oh, side light, side air. So much damage coming through on Ninja 729. But Machete started off game one with a huge lead as well. What the heck? Look Double recovery. Yeah, that was good. That was that was a good play. Oh. Anchor after neutral light, double anchor, pick up anchor. Yeah. Oh, oh, it happened again. It's, no. It's, I am now convinced that it's just not that good against just, a person with a weapon. Because they, because they, if they put was a hitbox out, to you're going to run into it. Yeah. It was, it, it felt like the brilliant play, and that time I was all for it. But It was a brilliant play, except it just didn't work. It. Yeah. And now the Ninja 729 is winning. Oh, D-Light recovery off the top. Machete waiting for that weapon to come through. Ninja 729 really focusing. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, needed to, he needed to pray to the stars. <laughs> yeah. Needed to, yeah, definitely after that last time. Make a wish. Had. 
He was making a wish. He, he was, was wishing a upon wish. a star. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Wishing upon a star. Wishing upon a star. Okay, just all I want is the twinkle, twinkle little star. May I 3-0 this <laughs> set, please? It's like, please let me 3-0 the midseason micro. Oh, Ninja 729. Uh, really fighting against that that uh, threat of fate that Machete is trying to weave there with that wishing, right? Like he's, oh man, he's still living after that side here. Machete, just gotta switch over that orb. I, I, if, I'm not sure oh, the now exact this number. This is orb time, yeah. I'm not sure the exact number. I feel like the amount uh -oh. of knockouts Machete oh, that was so clean. has gotten on Scythe is so low. There's like that one Scythe side sig. And that's like it. Look at that double downer. Ninja 729 running away with this set. Oh, and the neutral light hits. Look at that. Nice down air. Okay. Bicycle kick. Is it too little too late, though? As he is down by a full stop. It is hard to say. Uh, Machete hasn't done those zero to deaths on site that I like to see yet. He does the zero to deep orange. <laughs> and then and then we're like, switch to the orb, Machete. And in the meantime, Ninja 729 gets a bunch of damage in. Ooh, stuff recovery. Low on jumps, maybe? No. Okay, he touches. He makes it back. Machete now recovering. Oh, this is really good for the Ninja 729. Side light hits. Side lights again. Side air hits. Oh, that's so much damage. Down sig could be huge here. But he goes for the side light down air, and that's so much damage. Ops to hit him instead of get the. Oh! oh, oh. Slide charge that pivot was down sig. Cool. Yeah, and he, that was good. And and that was like a unique maneuver of taking advantage of the platform while it was moving to make it look like it, there wasn't a momentum shift there. That was so sick. Oh, I just saw what we were talking about at the very beginning oh, of the day. Oh, is busting out the big guns this is, now. Yeah, He's this is, this is what, what we were talking about very beginning of the day. He was the first one yeah. to really push He played Olger before it was cool. And also the only one to use this skin, which I can't remember the name I of. I was going to say. I know that this is Machete. Like, nobody it was, else it was a bit this. of a meme at the time, and he was like, he owned it. He owned it. OG Machete, clamp at 546. It's OG Machete, let's go. He's right. It's the OG Machete. And this is his last chance, right? If he yep. loses this, he has to win three games in a row to go undefeated in uh, the, the sets of this midseason micro. Oh, and it's going to be on the Lance opening up so far. But right now, his damage is looking a lot like his beard right now. Just <laughs> blended in in the top oh, right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, if you need a color comparison, it's like, is this orange? <laughs> is yes. Is this orange? Now we know. <laughs> Play against Machete. Oh. Oh, no. Nice down air. Okay, Cannon. Not working out so well against this. That's a good punish, though. Side sig trying to read a, a, a side air coming out. Yeah, I like that reaction out of hit stun from Machete. It was pretty slick. Even though it didn't land, it seemed like the right play. Ooh. Machete going for the nair there with the lance. Jumps around. Nice nair. Even more damage coming through. Recovery hits. Ninja 729. Ah. Uh, wh what is he going to do here? It's so Dude, tough. he's going to down sing. Here it comes. Oh, but that, we, at this we, point, I'm I know convinced. we agreed that we wouldn't use that anymore. Maybe but. maybe off the side of the stage. <laughs> On stage, the down have been good, but I have, like, Oh, it doesn't matter what he's doing now because Machete is oh. handling his business. Oh, my goodness. Two stocks up. Machete. It looked like he was going to lose this set, but now now it looks like he might just come back. Yeah. And when, when he was like down 0-2, he's like, oh, okay. The Fate. And the Fate, had, he has gotten every single one of his best of five wins on the Fate so far, right? But when put against the Ninja 729, who you said is the greatest adversary for him in this event. Yeah. Um, the high, yeah it makes sense to be like, player. hey, you know what? If I win three in a row, um, that's 200 bucks. And I get to say I get undefeated in the midseason micro before the midseason championship would be huge. And that would be oh, huge, is this yeah. The, like is this the first the three stock? Uh oh. oh it's so that. close. Saw that coming. <gasps> oh, the nukes against Machete. Three stock. Ah! Three stock chance. Opportunity. It. There it is. The three stock. He wished upon a star in the last game. He did. And he did. the star granted his yeah, wish. Yeah, yeah. He, he just whispers in his ear. He's like, play Olgrim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, and like, then at what? the end of the match, he 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 whispered to the star again. And he was yeah, like, he was you like, are right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, good, thank good you. idea. <laughs> I owe you one shooting star. <laughs> three stock. Okay, man. Whoa. Pick Olgrim, get three stock. That's the true events of what happened. So yeah, that, yeah. That, but, take take that one home with that you. Is the, that is truth. You spoke truth there. That is absolutely right. And now we're going to game four. Uh, Machete uh, on his way to reverse 3-0. Then it is 7-2-9. Who 
there's a bit of an adjustment period, right? Uh, going against Scythe Orb. Very, very different from the read heavy weapons that are Lance and Axe. It doesn't actually yes. get more different in the, their play styles, where they're looking for those one, two hits and then going back to reposition. And oh. Ninja 729 gets a great opener here. Machete tried to punish the uh, the missed gravity cancel cannonball there. And, and it's good to see him getting aggressive with it, but it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I pretty much... I yeah. feel like you have to just let that one just don't get hit. Like it's, there, it's there are all. some moves I see gravity canceled from the edge, like Taros neutral sig, or if it's Fridazol yeah. playing fate. All and he, and punishable. <laughs> all those are punishable. But this one, this might be the longest yeah, the, range. Ninja Summit Judah has figured this one out. He's got the right spacing. It's, he goes it's around safe the stage. To do. It rarely if you, lands. And if you jump over the cannonball, by the time you get there in time, Cinder can got already act. Right. It's 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 a good move. Um, he uses, he uses it, it well. in a very specific way that, yeah, that makes oh, it safe. Oh, don't do it again. I'm glad he Ooh, thought he twice. tried to Zeus throw. I'm he glad he thought throw. twice about fast fall anchor. I, I was like, I don't think that will work We've there. seen that, <laughs> yeah. At this point, we've lost our and faith when, in when, the anchor. When, when the blaze nair hit, I was like, that's sick. And then the sword recovery hit, and I went, wait a minute. And then when that happened a third time, I was like, okay, every move beats this, apparently. Do that recovery off the top, Ninja 729. Already doing better than game three uh, by taking a single stock. That is pretty good. Oh, and starting out even stronger. Look at that. Weapon throw up. Juggling. He's And he's slowly he's inching towards it. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> he's using that momentum. He's like, uh-oh. That was All right, sick. Anchor on stage. Still still a legal move by Taza standards. <laughs> yeah, hey, it, it's working, and it's not getting hit in the middle of it, right? That's he's good. Been, he's yeah. been using it. And something else Ninja does with the anchor. I love like that. I perfect timing. I was going to talk about how he uses his mobility tool to where if it whiffs, at least he spaced it well enough to fall beneath the stage and not get punished. And he did it again. Well, uh, uh, okay, hold on. We're getting punished now, Ninja. Hold on. D-Light side air. Nicely done. Is he going to return the favor with a three-stock to end the micro? Oh, oh that would sick. be so cool. Imagine returning a three-stock. We've seen that in tournament sets before. Yeah, we have. Where, yeah, a three-stock, oh, and then they, an close. they answer back with another three-stock, and it's just like, how wild is this? Look how at that. Machete, you better you better wish upon that star again, bro. Oh. <laughs> you better, you better yeah, get it. You're, right. you're running out of time. He doesn't for have any second chances. You're running out That's of time. the big problem. You're running out of time, Machete. Oh, oh the, the, star, comes through. the star is only good for one wish. Ooh. That was your chance. He's got to make this happen himself without right, any sort right. of uh, celestial you're right, intervention. You're right, you're right. You only get one of those. One of those, <laughs> are, one of those a game. You only get one wish upon his die. Oh, the Haker comes through with the down sig. No, he he's again. doing it. He's oh, deep, dude. He's got a stock. He's got a stock to prove that it works. Still. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. He can afford to, he can afford to go for it. Oh, did Machete oh, even touch the ground? Okay, snap. now he did. The okay. Ninja 729 about to JB? finish this. JB? Can Machete? That's JB a JV. Three? That's a JV. JV3, we still count that. GG, the Ninja729 has defeated Machete, who was previously undefeated That's in this right. entire micro. And now we know all the European players are quite evenly matched. They are, it's, it's pretty close. much what this, yeah. this is. It's as close as this could be, right? Because you can't. Everyone only has three matchups, well, so even you can't the, be perfectly even. Even in the one and two matchups, Blaze, Blaze's one win was over the, the Ninja So two players nine. went two and one, and then two, two other win. players went one and two. And the ones that went one and two defeated, so defeated. the and other players I who think, went two and one. I think Simple's win was over Blaze, if I remember correctly. But yeah, other than that, it's, it was... It's as evenly matched as it possibly could have shaken in, in, out. In the time that we've yeah. got, yeah. What, what an awesome micro. Well, there you go. Money, money distributed pretty evenly around. Machete yeah. Ninja 729 with that extra 200, but otherwise everybody got a, a score on the board. Really well played. A pretty good Saturday for these guys. Pretty good Saturday for us. Mm. And hopefully you guys had fun at home. So, okay, wait. I'm going to talk to the chat real quick. Chill. <laughs> There's going to be a rerun right after this. So a lot of people are asking, hey, I got this many points. Is there enough points to get the reward? And, and they're right to worry because... This will be the only day that you can get this reward. This reward mm -hmm. track will not run on any other day, right? So, so yes, there's going to be a rerun. Even if you're at zero points right now, it turned out that with all the game fives that Europe gave us here, it lasted two hours long. So, yes, even if you're at zero points right now, you're going to be able to get this. So, the stream's going to go offline in a little bit. Don't freak out. It's going to come back up online, and we're going to rerun this entire thing. And then, if you're watching this right now... 
during the rerun, Ooh. there's not a second rerun oh, yeah, now. That's right. the, you're, 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 if you're watching the rerun, when in doubt, look at the title <laughs> and also look like you yeah, can see. If it on, says rerun in the title, you can see on Twitch on the done, side, it looks different <laughs> when you're following the channel. But yeah, that's right. So that'll be a little confusing. Good Woo. call. Good call. That's a good mid-season micro. Oh, we're, get, we're getting played out. Whoa. Hey, join us next Saturday for the final mid-season micro with South America. And no, wait, wait. don't. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. Stay, <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned for a, for a rerun. Bye. Thank you. Have a great weekend. See you next week.